Lieutenant Jesus N. Ducusin. Presently, I am the officer in charge of the police investigation section of the airport police department here at uh, the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Naiya. So, kumusta po kayong lahat, mga kamisay? Uh, nung nakaraan, ang topic natin is all about criminal investigation. So now, medyo nag-upgrade na tayo. Meron tayong presentation. May inihanda ako rito ng uh, PowerPoint presentation para at least mabilis tayo. Okay? So for tonight, our subject is all about traffic management and accident investigation. Okay, as a backgrounder, in my 17 years as airport police, I was assigned in the traffic section of our department for almost two years. Doing uh, traffic direction and control here at Naiya. Okay. And with that two years, I experienced how to become a traffic enforcer. But uh, as I go along with my career, I involve myself. Okay, traffic management and accident investigation. This is one of uh, the subject in our board examination in criminology. And uh, First, siyempre sa lahat ng uh, lecture, kailangan natin munang itindihin what is this subject all about? What is all about traffic management? Okay, traffic management is defined as an exclusive function such as planning, organizing, supervising, directing, coordinating, operating, recording, and budgeting the affairs of traffic. Yan yung tinatawag sa management na post the curve. Okay? If you are uh, planning about the affairs of traffic, you are organizing uh, people, supervising people, doing a uh, uh, the affairs of traffic, and you direct, you coordinate to other agencies. And you do budgeting for the success of that uh, plan. We mean we are engaging in traffic management. And traffic management also refers to all agencies having responsibilities for ascertaining traffic flow requirements, such as planning, approving, funding, construction, and or maintaining public facilities for such movement. Okay. First question, mga kaamisay. Uh, let us try to answer this question. By the way, ang style natin ngayon is a combination of lecture and question and answer para mag natin if may pumapasok at may natira pa sa atin. May mga uh, stock knowledge ko tayo. Okay, first question. It is simply the movement of traffic units in a traffic way. Okay? Let us try to answer mga kamisay. Letter A, is it traffic? B, travel? C, transport? D, traffic management. The movement of traffic units in a traffic way. Ano mga kamisay? Okay? Sabi ni Sir Gary, is this letter A? Okay, any other answer? Check natin kung tama si Sir Gary, Sir JR. Okay, sabi na lang, letter A, very good. Let us check. Okay, very good. Okay, traffic is simply the movement of traffic units in a traffic way. Very good, very good. 
that is the uh, stock knowledge. Okay. So sa board examination, let us remember na yung word na traffic, okay, is the movement, yung paggalaw ng traffic units in a traffic way. Okay. Mamamaya, malalaman natin ano-ano yung mga tinatawag na traffic units, ano yung tinatawag na traffic way. Okay. So uh, the answer for this question is traffic. Okay. May mga mis- uh, conception dito sa word na traffic pag sinabing traffic ay yung ang daming sasakyan hindi na gumagalaw sa common term natin traffic ang ersa napaka traffic naku nag-aaral ka ng criminology mali pala yun okay because traffic mean the movement of traffic units in a traffic way pag maraming uh, build up na sasakyan, congested na ang alam natin mga Pilipino traffic no? okay. so let us clear that uh, misconception traffic is the movement of traffic unit in a traffic way okay, all clear? okay, very good Sir Clinton okay, si Sir John Joshua, no, it's not travel but it's traffic okay let us define traffic. Okay. Traffic refers to the movement of persons, goods, animals, and vehicles either powered by animals or animal drone vehicles or by combustion system from one place to another for the purpose of safe travel. So movement of persons, goods, animals, and vehicles. So, ibig sabihin, my point of origin, my point of destination. And the movement from that point of origin to that point of destination is being called traffic. Yan yung paggalaw. Okay. And what's the purpose of that movement? Okay. For safe travel. Okay. Then there are other definitions of traffic, as you can see, as you can read. It is the movement of people and vehicles from one point of origin to the point of destination. Okay? Then simply, the movement of traffic units in a traffic way. What are those traffic units? What is that traffic way? Mamaya, malalaman natin. So, nakakasunod ba mga kaamisay? Okay, and uh, we must know the evolution or the origin of the word traffic kasi lumalabas na board exam ito. Okay, we have here three words na kung saan sinasabing dito nang galing yung uh, word na traffic where the word traffic originates. Okay, we have the word traffico. It is a Greco-Roman word which refers to the movement of people. So, trafico. Okay? While the word trafriga, trafriga is a Greek word which refers to their horse-drawn chariots. Okay, so, sa trafico, the movement of people, tao, ang gumagalaw, ang nag-move. It's a Greco-Roman word. While sa word na trafriga is a Greek word which refers to their Horse-grown chariots, yung mga hinihila ng kabayo nung araw, Rafrika. And the last word na pwede sabihin pinanggalingan ng word na traffic is yung Trafalgar Square. It's a name of the hub center of the of commerce of London. Said to have contributed to the word traffic as well. So Trafalgar Square, mamaya may question tayo about Trafalgar Square. So either... Trafico, Trafriga, Trafriga, and Trafalgar Square. So wag natin kalimutan yan. Baka lumabas sa exam yan. Sayang naman kung hindi natin uh, alam. So Trafico is a Greco-Roman word. Trafriga is a Greek word. Then Trafalgar Square, hub center of commerce in London. Okay, is that clear? Okay, let us answer this question. Mga Say. Okay? Ito. Uh, try natin na 
Answer lang to. Okay? Just like the first question. It is the movement of people and vehicles from the point of origin to the point of destination. Sabi nyo, sir, napakadali naman yan. Okay? Paulit-ulit na lang. Okay? Kung napansin ninyo, sa unang question natin, maring halos parehas. But sa board exam kasi, pinabago-bago yung pamamaran pa may tanong. So, in this question, it is another way of uh, asking kung ano ba yung sagot dito. Okay, let us try to answer. It is the movement of people and vehicles from the point of origin to the point of destination. Is it traffic? Is it travel? Is it transport? Or is it traffic management? Okay? Sabi natin kanina sa traffic management, yun yung involves yung post record, yung planning, organizing, staffing, directing, okay? recording, up to budgeting. So, and it involves the affairs of traffic. While yung transport and travel, parang sinanin mo sa word na traffic, baka maguluan tayo rito. But, kung memorize natin yung about traffic, and ang keyword natin dito is yung movement of people and vehicles, then the correct answer for this question is what? Again, letter A. It's traffic. Very good, Sir Raymond. Sir LG. Okay. Very good. You got it right. It's traffic. Okay. Napansin ninyo yung question number one and question number two halos parehas lang. Ang sagot. But uh, that question is different. So, pero yung substance ng question is parehas. Nandun yung word na movement people and vehicles. Okay, let's proceed. Ito, na discuss natin kanina. The name of the hub center of commerce of London said to have contributed to the word traffic as well. So ang pinatanong dito is saan ang galing yung word na traffic? Sabi natin kanina may tatlong word na pwede ng word na traffic. Is it trafico or yung trafigra? Okay. Ano dito? Is it letter A, trafico square? B, trafalgar square? C, trafigra square? Or D, trafical square? Kung titignan ninyo itong question na to, halos pare-parehas. Parang magkakamukha. Parang lahat pwede. Parang lahat magkakatunog. But isa rito yung the best answer, the correct answer. So sa board exam, tanda ninyo, apat ang pagpipilian na dapat makuha mo yung tamang sagot. The best among the four. Okay, or among the choices. Okay? Again, the question is name of the hub, center of commerce of London. Is it traffic or square? Is it Trafalgar Square, Trafigra Square, or Trafical Square. Okay, may sumagot na dito. Si Sir Raymond, sabi niya, Trafalgar Square. Ganon din si Sir Alexandre Cuico, Trafalgar Square. Let's uh, see kung tama. Okay? Very good. Tama po kayo. It's letter V. Okay. Trafalgar Square. Okay, let us proceed. Ito na. Ito, hindi nakakalimutan ng mga criminology graduates to, mga criminology student na tapos na ng traffic management. Okay? May tinatawag tayong five pillars of traffic management. <laughs> Ang criminology, mahilig sa pillars yan eh. May rin yung tinatawag na five pillars of the Philippine criminal justice system. Okay, memorize natin lahat yun. Law enforcement, prosecution, court, correction, and the community. 
Okay, that's sa CGS. But how about yung pillars ng traffic management? Sabi natin, na napag natin, there are three general pillars ng traffic management. We have engineering, education, and enforcement. While meron din tayong yung tawag na subsidiary pillars mamaya malalaman natin. Okay, let us first discuss this uh, first three general pillars. Okay. Oh, let us focus. Madali na to. It's self-explanatory. Kuha lang tayo ng keyword from these pillars. Okay, the first pillar is engineering. It says here that engineering is the science of measuring traffic and travel. Okay. It is the study of the basic laws relative to the traffic flow and generation and application of this knowledge to the professional practice of planning, designing, and operating traffic systems to achieve safe and efficient movement of persons and goods. Okay, engineering. Bakit may mga tulay tayo? May mga highway tayo? Okay? Bakit may mga skyway tayo? That is because of engineering. Bakit? Because of engineering, napapabilis yung movement of people, goods, and vehicle. Kasi namimension, kung walang daan, walang uh, bridge, okay? walang may skyways, walang mga ginawang uh, expressways, So, matagal yung movement. So, because of engineering, matagal ng goods, people, and vehicles. Okay. So, engineering. Then, we have education. Oh, nandyan yung mga bridges, nandyan yung mga, mga highways natin. But, kung wala itong education na to, kahit gaano kagaganda yung mga pinatayo nating mga infrastructures na makatulong sa traffic, Okay. Hindi tayo magkakaroon ng uh, proper training and travel practice in the actual application of traffic safety and knowledge kung walang education. The bottom line ng lahat ng ginagawa sa traffic management is education. This is the most important pillar. Okay. Sabi nga sa isang libro, this is the crowning Travel of traffic management, yung education. Okay. So, kailangan may educate muna tayo about traffic para at least alam natin paano magkaroon ng safe uh, travel. Okay. Paano gumalaw sa mga traffic units, mga traffic ways natin. Then, the last of the three general fields, uh, Law enforcer. Dito napapasok yung first pillar of the Philippine criminal justice system. Because enforcement is the action taken by the traffic law enforcers, okay, not necessary police, but all, all enforcers uh, of traffic laws na ang top trabaho na is to arrest, to issue traffic citation ticket, and giving warning to erring drivers and pedestrians. Okay, mayroong highways, mayroong mga bridges, mayroong mga signs, may mga traffic uh, signal system tayo. Educated yung tao. Pero kung walang magpapatupad, walang enforcer, useless lahat yan. Why? Siyempre tao yan eh. Ang tao makulit. Okay? Kung walang enforcement, magkakaroon ng chaos. So, napakalaga sa traffic management is yung enforcement pillar. At yan tayo papasok. Tayong mga criminology student na gusto maging criminologist at pag nakapasa ay magiging law enforcer. ENP or kung gusto nyo pumasok sa mga local government units performing traffic 
MMDA, okay? LTO. So, diyan tayo. So, ulit, the three general pillars ng uh, traffic management, engineering, education, and enforcement. Okay. So, tandaan natin lahat yan. Engineering, the science of measuring traffic and travel. That's the keyword. Education, the process of giving. Training, nandun na yung keyword. Training. Okay. And traffic safety knowledge. Sa enforcement, nandun yung mga keyword. Action taken by the traffic law enforcer for enforcement. Either to arrest, issue citation ticket, or to give warning. Either visual or verbal warning. Okay. Let us answer this question. One of the pillars of traffic and travel. Okay. Try nating sagutin mga kamisay. Sabi niya, ang keyword dito sa question is measuring traffic and travel. You measure traffic and travel. Anong gagamitin mo? Do we use the pillar of enforcement? The education pillar? The engineering pillar? Or the environment pillar? Try to answer. Measuring traffic and travel. Ang sabi ni Sir Angelo is letter C. Letter C. Sabi ni Sir Angelo Llanos. Tignan natin kung tama si Sir Angelo, si Sir Divino, si Dao, Sir Gary, engineering, engineering. Okay? Sir Ma'am Jezabel, engineering, very good. Sir Kelvin, letter C. Okay, tignan natin kung tama kayo. C nga ba? Okay, very good. It's letter C. The science of measuring traffic and travel is the engineering pillar. Very good, very good. So napaka-active ng ating mga kaamisay. Ganyan, review lang tayo ng review. Alam niyo sa pagre-review, Ulit-ulit lang yan. Repetition. Yan ang secret ng pagre-review. Kahit alam mo na, repetition yan. Ulit. Ulitin mo yan. Until such time, parang kanta yan. Nasa utak mo na yan. Good. And now, let us uh, go to the two subsidiary pillars. Yung una-una kanina, yung engineering, education, and enforcement, yun yung three general pillars ng traffic management. Yun yung three general is of traffic management. The first three is of traffic management. Now we go to the last two pillars. Yung environment at saka yung economics. Okay. First, environment. Bakit mayroong makikita nyo sa highway? May mga pumapara ng sasakyan. Okay? Yung mga asbo. Chinicheck. Yung emission. Okay? Yung binubuga. Sa tambutyo. Bakit yung tambutyo niyan? Bakit hindi ulihin yan? Okay, may dahilan yun. Bakit ginagawa? Because we have a pillar called environment. Pillar in traffic management. And what is this environment pillar? Environment pillar in traffic management deals with potentially dangerous population explosion dahil dumami yung tao. Okay. Nagkaroon ng changes in, on, in urban environment due to scale intensity of new urban concentration. Nagkaroon ng air pollution problem, water pollution problem, and overcrowding, especially transport congestion. na yun yung result niyan, yung pollution. Dumami ang tao, dumami ang sasak uh, legislation regarding air pollution. Mamaya malalaman natin yung mga laws re relative to this 
environment pillar. Okay. Anything that affects environment and that affects uh, traffic management is uh, within the province of environment pillar. Okay. Then the last pillar is the so-called economic pillar. Economic. Economic. Ang traffic ba naapektuhan niya yung economy ng isang bansa, ng isang lugar? Yes, of course. Okay. And economy is defined as the study of how people choose to use scarce productive resources to produce commodities and distribute them for their consumption. Kaya pinapabilis yung uh, movement ng tao ng goods, ng vehicles, kasi mayroong importante na naapektuhan sa ekonomiya ng bansa. Kamaki mo pag matrapik yung mga taong papasok sa trabaho, okay? malili, paano kung yan ang pinapasukan nila ay manufacturing company. So invest na makaproduce ng uh, marami, hindi na kasi late na sila. Yan yung epekto ng traffic. Uh, um, uh, kung wala tayong uh, magandang uh, uh, traffic management policies and measures. Okay. So, we have economics, environment, enforcement, education, and engineering. Yan yung tinatawag na five pillars of traffic management. Yung five is of traffic management. Okay? So, the first three pillars, yun yung tinatawag na general pillars. Yung last two, ay yung tinatawag na subsidiary pillars. Okay? They are not uh, major pillars, but still, they are considered third pillars of traffic management. Economics and environment. Okay, answer this question, question number five. Okay, one of the subsidiary pillars, yan, kaka-discuss natin, which includes the study of how people choose to use scarce productive resources to produce commodities and distribute them for their consumption. Okay, andyan na lahat yung keyword natin. Andyan yung word na productive resources, okay, in order to produce commodities. Nandiyon yung word na consumption. Ano yan? Is it letter A? Ekana environment? Is it letter B? Education? Or C? Engineering? Or is it letter D? Economics? Ayan na, sumagot na sila. Ma'am Alexandre Quico, Sir Gary, letter D. Letter D ba lahat? Letter D? Economics? Sabi ni Ma'am Bing, it's letter A. Tignan natin, sino ang tama sa kanila? Any other answer? Alexander Quico, sir, is economics. Okay, let Check. Is it economic? Mas maraming letter D? Okay, yan yung mga keyword natin. Economic pillar is a subsidiary pillar. Subsidiary. Okay. which include the study of how people choose to use scarce productive resources to produce commodities and distribute them for their consumption. So economy. Okay. Very good. Ang dami nakakuha. Sir Jover, Banyes, Ma'am Jezabel, nakuha na naman niya. Ma'am Samantha, very good. Ma'am Kat Kat. Okay, very good. Very good. It's letter D, economic pillar. Okay. So, environment, <laughs> ang keyword sa environment, yun yung mga air pollution, nandiyan na lahat yan. Education, ang keyword yan is training, engineering, yun nga. Yung last question, the measurement of traffic and travel. Okay? So, dapat pamilya tayo lahat yan. Gumawa kayo ng natatandaan ninyong keyword sa bawat term na to. Okay hindi kayo mawawala pagdating ng board exam. Okay. More on keyword tayo. Sabi nga ng mga ibang nagle-lecture.
sabi nga ng Amisai, sabi ng Amisai, dito nag-aaral tayo ng smart. We dapat to smart ka. Bakit baka habang definition? Kung may keyword naman sa word na yan, yan ang secret ng board examination. Then, dagdagan nyo ng dasal. Dasal kayo. Okay. Isang dasal, maraming review. Hindi yung napakaraming dasal, daming prayer, hindi ka naman masipag mag-review. Sabi nga ng Panginoon, nasa tao ang gawa, nasa Diyos ang awa. Okay. Let us proceed. Okay. So, tapos na natin yung mga five pillars of traffic management. Alam na natin yun. Five is engineering, okay, education, enforcement, economics, at saka environment. Now, let us proceed dito sa mga primary agencies involved in traffic engineering. Okay, isa-isayin na natin. Diba, doon tayo sa engineering pillar. May mga agencies daw, primary agencies of the government involved in traffic engineering. Siguro alam na natin lahat to. We have the Department of Public Works and Highways or yung DPWA. Sila yung tagagawa ng mga roads, skyways, footbridges, bridges, flyovers, etc. Sila na gumagawa ng mga uh, traffic signal system natin, traffic lights. Okay. Sila na gumagawa ng mga traffic signs natin. Okay? So... DPWH. Ang present uh, secretary niya ngayon si Secretary Villar. Okay? Mayroon tayong ganyan, build, build, build program ng government. Okay, mayroon din tayo, we must be aware of the MMBA. Lagi natin nakikita uh, yan. Pag pinag-usapan ng EDSA, okay, kasama na dyan na pag-usapan. Ang MMBA pag traffic sa isang sinisisi, ah, kasalanan ng mga MMD yan. Kapag ka nahuli ka sa EDSA, MMDA, enforcer na yan. Galit tayo sa mga MDA. Okay. MDA is for determining traffic flow patterns through origin destination of personal settings, funding, constructing, maintaining, and repairs of all major thoroughfares in Metro Manila. So, dito sa Metro Manila, mayro tayong authority na nagme-maintain, nagmamanis ng traffic natin, yan ang MMDA. Okay, MMDA. Yan yung mga naka-blue. Okay? So, uh, sa mga future criminologists, sa mga criminology graduate Pwede tayo dyan sa MMDA. Uh, traffic enforcers. Okay? Then we have the public works and gearing offices ng mga LGUs. Okay, kada local government units natin dito sa Manila, different cities, sa mga provinces, meron tayong mga LGUs na mga public works sila, local public works and engineering offices. Okay. May mga nakikita natin mga mga traffic management and parking offices. TT, uh, TMPO, TPO, depende kung anong tawag nila dyan. Okay. Mga nagmaman ng traffic sa mga provinces, mga municipalities. So, ayan. Traffic engineering. Okay. Let us answer this question. So, balikan natin, alam natin yung mga involved sa traffic engineering, primary agencies, DPWH, MMDA, saka yung mga LGUs natin. Okay, let us answer this question. The process of giving training and travel practice, ito na, in the actual application of traffic safety knowledge. This is considered as one of the most important pillars. Sabi nga natin, this is the crowning Jewel of traffic management. Most important pillar. Anong keyword natin dito? Training. Okay? Traffic safety knowledge. Yan ang keyword natin dyan. Okay. Is it enforcement? 
Is it education? Dami mga sabot, letter B daw. Is it engineering? Or is it environment? Ang keyword natin dito is training. Safety knowledge. Okay. Sabi nga natin, more on keyword tayo. Tapos yung the most important pillar. Okay. Sabi nila, letter B ba? Bravo. Sabi ni Sir Alicante, bravo, bravo ba, bravo. Is it education, letter B? Let us check. Tama ba kayo? Okay, tama ba kayo? Is it letter B, education? Yes, it is letter B. Okay, lahat nakuha. Very good. Sabi nga natin, pag mayroon tayong keyword, madali na lang yan. Basahin mo lang, or keyword, nandito yung keyword. Pinandaan ko. Training. Safety knowledge. Hanapin mo lang doon. Basta memorize mo yung five, uh, five pillars of traffic management. Enforcement, education, engineering, environment. Pag sinabi natin education, training, safety, knowledge, 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 power. Okay. Education. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Ang gagaling. Gagaling. For sure. Pag nag-enroll kayo sa ay maraming papasa. Okay? Sabi nga ni Sir J. Ferraro, Attorney Ferraro, Amisai. Okay? Ano sabi niya? Ako ay magiging registered criminologist. Ar Ako ay magiging registered criminologist. That is not impossible. Lahat tayo magiging criminologist mga uh, ka-Amisai. Nauna lang kami, tandaan ninyo yan. Susunod kayo. Basta ang gawin lang ninyo, review na review. Huwag yung iniisip nyo, ha? six months pa lang naman yan. Sa June pa naman yan. Saka na ako mag-review. No. Dapat, within that six months, inihanda mo na yung sarili mo. Huwag mong sayangin yung oras, review ko ng review. Okay. Pag may libreng review ang bigay ng Amisai, review pa, sali ka. Try to answer questions. Kagaya nito ngayon. Okay? The answer for this question is letter B, education. And the keyword is training and safety knowledge. Okay, let us proceed. So tapos na natin yung primary agencies involved in traffic engineering. About sa traffic education. Well, we... know that there are public and private educational institutions na nagkakandak ng traffic uh, education. Okay. Both public and pins, yung mga traffic uh, enforcers namin dito sa airport police department nag sa UP. Okay. Actually, yung mga traffic enforcers ng NAIA, deputize yan. Deputize uh, ng uh, LTO. Deputize ng traffic, uh, yung mga local traffic namin dito sa Pasay. Okay. Then yung iba dyan nag-aaral sa UP, pinag-aaral na na uh, Airport Police Department, ng may authority. So may mga public and private educational institutions tayo. Mga private, nandiyan yung mga driving schools natin. Okay. Naging, although naging negosyo na yan, but they contribute well in the training which pertains to traffic education. So both public and private institutions yan yung mga nagtuturo. Okay. Sabi nga dito, it includes elementary, secondary, and higher educational institutions, both public and private. It also includes public information programs of different agencies that have functions relating to traffic. Yung mga MMDA na yan, may sariling uh, unit sila to educate, LTO, ganun din. At isa sa pinakasikat na idol ko, na in his uh, private capacity, nag educate siya ng about traffic uh, policies, measures, regulation. Ay si Colonel Busita. Colonel Busita, kung kilala niyo si Colonel Busita, sino makakilala kay Colonel Busita? Isa sa may advocacy para magkaroon ng proper traffic education, lalo sa mga riders ng motor. Mga kaamisay, sino makakilala kay Colonel 
Busita, isang magaling na pulis, may magaling maganda yung adbukasya niya para i-educate yung mga uh, gumagamit ng ating traffic waste. Okay? Paano ba gamitin yung mga traffic waste natin? Paano maging responsible na uh, uh, road user na tinatawag? Si Colonel Busita. Salute sir, Colonel Busita. Okay? So traffic education. They give trainings. Okay, para magkaroon ng safety knowledge. Colonel Busita. Ayan, kilala daw ni Sir Kelvin, si Colonel Busita. Ayan, si Sir Jover. Idol natin yan. Si Colonel Busita. Okay. Meron siyang YouTube channel. Sa Facebook, nag-educate siya. Pinapagalitan niya yung mga traffic enforcer na nadadaanan niya. Pag may nakita siyang mani, kinokorek niya. That is education. Pag educate natin, not just inside the four walls of classroom. Siya kasi, in-educate niya yan. Pag may nakita siyang violation, hindi niya hinuhuli. But, binibigyan niya ng strong words. Sinasabi niya, mali yan. Mali yung ginagawa mo. Okay, mamamatay ka dyan. Pag hindi ka nag-iingat. Okay, si Colonel Busita. Okay? How about sa enforcement? Dito tayo. Okay, sa enforcement, ang daming involved na agencies yan. Okay, We have major agencies here. Unang-una yung Department of Transportation, DOTR. They are responsible in policy making, planning, programming, coordinating, implementing, and regulating traffic affairs. Ito yung formerly Department of Transportation and Communication. Ngayon, nag-iwalay na yung communication, DICT na yun. Uh, Department of... Uh, 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 <laughs> The ICT, headed by uh, former Senator Gringo. Ano na siya ngayon? Ang DOPR naman, headed by Secretary Arthur Tugade. Okay? So, then we have the LTO. Itong LTO under the DOTR. LTO, Land Transportation Office. Nakikita natin yan. Kung saan tayo kumukuha ng license, okay? Driver's license. At papa-register ng sasakyan. Alam mo na yan. Then yung Land Transportation Office, responsible for motor, motor vehicle registration, operation of motor vehicles, licensing of drivers, owner dealers, and conductors. Okay? Then huwag natin kalimutan yung law that created LPO, RA4136, yung Land Transportation and Traffic Code of the Philippines. RA 41-36. Mamaya, mga discuss natin yan. Then we have the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB. Kung ang LTO, licensing, okay, registration, dito sa LTFRB, ang pinaka-cured natin sa kanila is more on franchise. Okay. Sila yung nag-grant, sila ang nagde-deny, nagsususpend, nagka-cancel, nagre-revoke ng transport franchise. Okay? They are also responsible for prescribing and adjusting fares. Kung yung mga drivers ng mga jeep. Jeepness natin. Gusto nila magtaas ng uh, fares. Okay, nandyan yung LTFRB sila ang nag-approve, okay? Sila yung nagbibigay ng na prescribed fares na dapat singilin sa mga public conveyances natin. Okay? And this agency is created under Executive Order 202, Series of 1987. Okay? LTFRB, LTO, DOTR. And kagaya ng nasabi natin kanina, here... In uh, NCR, it is the National Capital Region, we have the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority or MMDA created under RA79. So let us just be familiar with this creating this agency. Kasi baka biglang itanong sa board exam yan, 
sayang naman pag hindi natin makuha. MMDA created under R RA Republic Act 79-24, LTFRB Executive Order 202, Series of 1987. I-jot down ninyo dyan kung nagsusulat kayo. LTO for 136. Okay. Yung Department of Transportation naman, Ayl BOTC sa dati, created under Executive Order 125A noong 1985, that's A, uh, way back 1997. Okay. Then, here, there are also agencies involved in traffic environment. Uh, this is just nice to know, nice to know lang to. We have the Commission of Population, the DEN na siyempre, environment yan, and the local government units or LGUs. So, sila yung sa traffic environment naman. Okay. Okay, ito. Question number seven. This is an agency involved in traffic information enforcement responsible for motor vehicle registration, operation of motor vehicles, licensing of drivers, owners, dealers, and conductors. Kahit wala pa yan, alam na ninyo yan eh. Sige nga, let us try to answer, makamisay. Sino daw itong agency of the Philippine government involved in traffic enforcement responsible for motor vehicle registration? Kahit wala pa yung choices, let us try to answer. Anong agency ito ng Philippine government? Sige nga, subukan ninyo. May mga sumagot na, LTO ba? LTO? This agency is involved in uh, motor vehicle registration, operation of motor vehicles, licensing. Yan. Kahit nga sa keyword na lang yan, eh, licensing of drivers, saan ba kayo kumukuha ng license? Sa ang agency ba? Sige nga. Yan, LTO. Uh, LTO, very good. Sir Jim, Sir Gerald, Ma'am Samantha, LTO, very good. LTO, LTO. Rin, LTO. Let us check. Isa ba sa choices yung LTO na yan? Okay? Asan? Hanapin mo ngayon. Halimbawa, nag-board exam ka. Pagbasa mo pa lang ng question, alam mo na yung sagot. Normal yan eh. That is normal. May mga tanong sa board exam. Pagbasa mo, ah, alam ko to. So ang tendency mo is, hahanapin mo na lang. Alam ko yan. LTO yan. Ang problema mo lang sa ang choices. Is it letter A? O siya, nandun siya sa letter B, LTO. Gusto doon ka na, LTO na. Kasi sure ka na dyan eh. Sure na ako rito, LTO to. So letter B. Okay, letter B. Ang dami na ako. Very good, LTO. Letter B, letter B. Okay. Well, sa traffic economics, siyempre, involved na dyan yung mga banking institutions natin yan. Okay? Yan yung mga involved sa economics natin. Okay, yung mga banko kasi na yan, nagpapautang sa mga agencies of the government, either public, or sa mga private, para at least kung may plano sila to is uh, yung effect niya sa economy natin, especially yung LGUs natin, pwede silang humirin sa mga banking institution or kung may pera yung LGU natin, may silang allotted fund for uh, traffic economics. Yan yun. Okay. Pero sa mga board examination, hindi masyado yan. Pero at least alam natin that there are uh, symbol in traffic economics as far as traffic management is concerned. Mal ng Pilipinas, land bank of the Philippines, local government units, natin kung saan man uh, situated sa province or dito sa NCR. Okay, ito na. Although these are self-explanatory, yung mga traffic control devices na sinasabi. Okay, traffic control devices. Tayo naman, nakikita naman, paglabas pa lang natin sa kanilasada, Nakakita na tayo ng mga traffic signs. Okay. Ito yung advantage ng criminology student o criminology graduate o criminologist. 
Alam nila kung anong klaseng mga signs yan, traffic signs. Okay, let us first define what is traffic sign. Traffic signs is a device, device that mounted or on a portable support where a message is conveyed by means of word or symbols. So may mga nakasulat, may mga symbols yan, may mga drawings. Officially erected or installed for the purpose of regulating, giving warning and guiding traffic. Okay. So ito yung mga kinds of traffic signs natin. We have five, uh, four. Okay. We have the danger warning signs, informative signs, place identification signs, at uh, saka regulatory signs. So isa-isayin natin. Self-explanatory lang naman to. Okay. Pag danger warning signs, okay, pag may nakita kayo, slippery when wet. Okay. Mga danger warnings. Intended to warn road users of a danger. So, sinasabi niya, mag-ingat ka. Okay. Baka, madisgrasa ka, may danger dyan. Okay. On the road and to inform them of its nature. Sample, railroad crossing. O railroad crossing yan. Baka pag tumawid ka dyan, hindi mo nakikita, mayroong patawid na tren. Ah, masagasaan ka, patay ka. O slippery yan, huwag kang magpat... ...munang mabilis. Mag mabilis ang takbo mo. Kahit magpreno ka, wala pa rin. Okay. Kasi yung friction ng gulong at saka yung daan, slippery, hindi kakagat yung preno mo. Or, pag sinabi, animal crossing. Huwag kang magpapatakbo ng mabilis. May mga tumatawid na mga kalabaw dyan. Pag nabangga mo sa disgrasya ka. Okay, danger warning signs yan. So, okay, yun yun, may example niyan. Alam na ninyo yan. How about informative signs? Just to inform you. Intended to guide road user while they are traveling or to provide them with other useful information. From the root word, inform. Okay. Sabi ako malapit ng airport. Naiya. Okay. Halimbawa, papunta ka ng Tugigaraw City. Yung birth place ko. Okay. Malapit na. 20 kilometers na lang from here. So, ini-inform ka niya. Or sa mga expressway, kung napansin ninyo. Okay. Oh. 500 meters, mayroon ng Petron dyan. Shell station. Pwede kang magpagasulina dyan. So, ang tendency ng uh, driver, gigilid na siya. Okay. Just to inform. It's a useful information. Yun yung mga tinatawag na informative signs. Then, please identification signs. Okay. Sabi niya, oh, may malapit na hospital. May malapit na mga dati. <laughs> yung mga PLBT natin, telephone booth. Or may malapit na restaurant, nakikita ninyo, Jollibee. Yan. May malapit na, uh, ang tawag dito? Uh, mga, pag-takeoutan. Okay. Then yung regulatory signs. Ito, huwag mong babaliwalain itong regulatory signs na to. Bakit? Pag binaliwala mo to, ibig sabihin, may kalalagyan ka, ticket ka, okay, pag nahuli ka, huli ka, okay, pero hindi ka kulong. Okay, regulatory signs, intended to inform the road user of special obligation, instruction, or prohibition which they must comply. So, kailangan mag-comply ka dyan. If not, okay, may corresponding okay, penalty ka dyan pag nahuli ka. Sample yung mga pag sinabing no stopping, no entry, no U-turn, no left turn, no right turn. Basta yung mga no na yan, no parking, at nagpark ka, huli ka. Okay, dito sa airport, mayroon tayong policy pag nasa terminal ka, yung two minutes loading and unloading. No parking, bawal magpark dyan. Okay? At pag binahilate mo yan, huli ka. Okay. So yung mga regulatory signs. So either danger, warning signs, informative signs, place identification signs, regulatory signs. In one 
general uh, term, they are all traffic signs. So, tandaan lang natin yan. Pagkakaiba niyan. Magkuha kayo ng uh, keyword, keyword, keywords lang kayo. Okay. Then, be familiar. Mag-search na rin kayo. Yung mga signs na yan. Magagamit din ninyo yan sa uh, personal na buhay ninyo. Okay? When we have also traffic light and pedestrian signals. Okay? Mga traffic lights natin. So, halos lahat na ng lugar dito sa Pilipinas, may traffic lights na. Dati, dito lang sa Metro Manila. Pero, lahat na ng lugar... Kasi nga, nagiging uh, developed na yung mga lugar, nagkakaroon ng mga traffic lights na rin. At mga pedestrian signals. This traffic light and pedestrian signals is being defined as a signal operating manually or electrically, electronically. Yan, electronically yan. By which traffic is alternatively commanded to stop or proceed. Okay. So, uh, instead na tao, Kung kung dyan, so traffic lights na lang at mga pedestrian signals. So sila yung nagsasabing. Okay, sa traffic light tayo. Aware na kayo rito. If it is red, it means stop. Pag red yan, stop. Then, pag green, go. How about yellow? Okay. You are permitted to proceed. Okay. But, it requires na dapat matansya mo. Hindi yung ibibit mo siya. May violation tayo ng beating the red light. Hinahabol bago maabutan ng red light, no? Dapat tansyado mo. Yung mga sanay na mag-drive dyan sa highway, tansyado na nila yan. Pero pag first time nila ka, dyan nahuhuli yung mga nagbibit, yung beating the red light. Pero although, permitted ka pa rin kas doon. Pero dapat tansyado mo. Pagka alam mo na hindi mo na maabutan at maabutan ka ng red, stop ka na, mag-minor ka na. Okay, dyan nangyari yung mga mga disgrasya kung minsan. Habang binibit nila yung red light, nag-stop na. Okay, here comes nag-gunay sa salpok. It means collision. Pag hindi natin, hindi tayo aware sa mga traffic, traffic light color signal na yan. Alam na ninyo yan. So red for stop, yellow, you are permitted to proceed but with caution tapos green that means go you're uh, clear to proceed pag yan lumabas sa board exam madali na lang yan okay oh, let us answer this question a traffic sign intended to warn road user of a danger nandyan ang word na danger Nandiyan yung keyword na danger. On the road and to inform them of its nature like a railroad crossing. Anong traffic sign yan? Oh, please. Please. Answer. Anong traffic sign yan? A traffic sign tended to warn road user, mga kamisay. Okay, sabi ni Sir Gary, danger warning signs. Tama kaya siya? Tama kaya si Sir Gary? It's a danger warning sign. Other, other answer mga kami sign. Danger warning sign sabi ni Sir Angelo. Pareha sila. Warning. Okay, kompleto na natin. Danger sign. Very good. Sir Julius, dali yun. Danger warning ba? Danger warning. Wala na mo ang iba dyan. Di ba niyo pwedeng palitan yan? Baka yun ang tamang sagot. Pero sir, sabi mo, mayroong, uh, mayroong uh, keyword, danger. E, tignan natin kung tama. Tama ba yung sagot nyo? Yeah, hanapin natin nasa yung danger. It's letter C. Danger warning signs. Okay, mayroong four choices dito. Informative, traffic signs, danger warning signs, regulatory signs. Okay, baka magkamali ka rito. Ang tinatanong dito is yes, traffic sign. Baka ang i-answer natin, baka magkamil tayo, traffic signs din, nakita yung traffic. No. Intindihin yung tanong. A traffic sign intended to warn road user of a danger. So, hindi na traffic sign yan. It's a kind of traffic sign. So, nandun yung keyword kung memorize mo yan is the danger warning sign. Tignan natin kung tama. Tama ba? 
Road warning sign, no? It's letter A, no? Tignan natin kung tama. Let's uh, check. Let's check. Okay, letter C. is a danger warning signs. Very good sa mga nakakuha. Okay. <clears throat> sa mga nag-answer dito, na trying to answer, kung mali tayo, huwag kayong mawalan ng parang madismaya, no? I-challenge nyo yung sarili nyo. Sabihin nyo, by the next question, alam ko yan. By the next na matandaan ko yan, ay na itanong yan, alam ko na yan kasi dyan ako nagkamali. Okay? Tandaan ninyo, kahit sa buhay ng tao, kung saan ka nagkamali, yan yung hindi na mawawala sa isip mo. Okay? So, sa review, okay lang magkamali ka. Baka pag lumabas sa board exam yan, tama ka. Mas hindi maganda na sa board review, tama yung sagot mo. Pagdating sa board exam, yung actual, mali ka na. Okay? So dapat, board review, board exam, tama yung sagot. Sa board review, mali ka man, okay, mayroon ka pa rin chance to correct that mali. Okay. So okay lang yan. Answer lang na answer, huwag tayong mahiya. Okay, huwag tayong mahiya. Ganyan talaga, kaya nga tayo nagre-review eh. Nagre-review tayo para at least, kung may pagkakamali na, is makorek natin. Okay. Another question. Okay, subukan na ninyo rito, yung mga nagkamali. Yung mga nagkamali. A traffic sign, a traffic sign na naman daw to, that tells you there is a hospital, a telephone booth, or even a restaurant. Sinasabi niya, oh, may hospital dyan, may telephone booth dyan, ano yan? Anong klaseng traffic sign yan? Okay. Is it an informative sign? Is it a place identification sign? Is it a danger warning sign? Or a regulatory sign? Napakadali niyan. Tells you there is hospital. Ano ba yung hospital? Okay. Ano siya? Informative ba? Sabi niya, informative ba daw? Is informative warning sign? Letter B ba daw? Place identification signs? Yan, nalilit, nalilito na. May sumagot ng letter A? Tignan natin. Balikan natin yung pan kanina. Okay. Ang mga yan, lugar yan. Di ba? Telephone ko saan ba yan? Okay, titignan natin. Titignan natin. Titignan natin. Anong sagot? Ano mga sagot nila? Iba-iba. May letter A, letter B. A, A daw, letter B. So, dalawa. Titignan natin. Sino ang tama? Is it letter A or letter B? So, itong letter C and letter D, kung ano yan? Sabi nyo, wala yan. Nasa letter A and letter B lang yan. Saan kaya dyan ang tama? Between the two. A or B. Informative or place identification. Tignan natin. Letter B. Okay, sa mga letter B, tama kayo. Letter B. Very good. Letter B. Okay? Very good. At least sumasagot kayo. Yung iba tama, yung iba medyo nagkakamali, but still, still it's okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, kaya nga may free review ang Amisai Review Center. Okay, nandito tayo para matuto. Ang maganda sa online, <laughs> ang maganda sa online, hindi kagaya ng classroom discussion na may mga classmate mo na makukulit. Pag pinatayo ka at nagkamali ka, tatawanan sila. No, dito, hindi. Pwede mo nga i-raise yung comment mo eh. <laughs> okay. Road classifications naman tayo. Ito, medyo technical ito. Pero dapat keywords lang tayo rito. Our road classifications, meron tayong five road classifications. We have a national road, provincial road, city roads, municipal roads, or barangay road. Titignan natin, ano bang pagkakaiba ng national road sa provincial road? 
provincial roads sa city road, municipal roads sa barangay roads. Okay? Ano mong pagkakaiba niyan, sir? Okay. Ito, eh, hindi ako nagsabi nito. Ito yung nasa libro natin. Okay? Ang keyword lang natin yan, puntahan natin, ito may mga keywords tayo dito. Okay, national roads. Main roads as conduit system with the right of way from 20 meters to 120 meters. Okay. Mayroon yung keyword dyan na conduit system and the right of way of that road is 20 meters to 120 meters. Yan lang keyword natin. 20 to 120. Ah, national road yan. Malaki yan. Malapad yan. Ang right of way. Okay. How about provincial road? Siyempre, mas maliit yan kaysa national road. Gano'ng kaliit? It has linkages between two municipalities, yung mga provincial roads niyan. Okay. With right of way from 25 meters to 60 meters. If sa national road, 20 meters to 120 meters, dito naman, minimum of 25 meters to maximum of 60 meters. So national roads, maximum is 120. Dito sa provincial roads, 25 to 60 meters. How about city roads? Paano natin i-distinguish yung city roads from that of provincial roads? Sabi natin, interlink between municipalities and within the city proper with right of way of okay, 15 meters lang. Designated the uh, uh, specific right of way niya is 15 meters. As contrast to municipal road, mas, mas, ma, mas maliit, 10 meters lang. So sa city is 15, sa municipal is 10. And sa barangay, siyempre mas maliit na unit na yan is 2 meters. Okay? Right of way not less than 2 meters but not more than 10 meters. Okay, barangay roads, so 2 meters. Sa municipal roads, not less than 10 meters. Sa city roads, not le uh, with a right of way of 15 met meters. Sa provincial roads, with a right of way 25 meters to 60 meters. Then sa national roads, you just take this note. Mag-take note kayo. I-note ninyo to. Para pag nakita, uh, national roads, 20 to 120. Provincial road, 25 to 60. City roads, 15 okay, meters. Tapos sa uh, municipal, 10. Not less than 10. Then barangay is not less than 2 meters. Madali lang naman yan. Just technical. Okay? Yan yung mga road classifications natin. How about yung mga pavement markings natin? Okay, magandang gabi daw sa lahat ng mga taga Cebu. Kumusta po lahat ng mga taga Cebu diyan? Okay, may mga nanonood mga kapwa ko Airport Police. Uh, kasama ko Airport Police, kumusta kayo? Mga classmate ko dati na nasa Philippine National Police na ngayon. Kumusta? Okay. Bisitahin niyo ako rito sa Naiya. And sa mga magiging criminologist din, kung gusto niyo mag-apply dito sa Airport Police balang araw, Okay. Pwede kayo mag-apply dito sa Airport Police Department. We are also a law enforcer. We are also a police uh, agency with jurisdiction within NAIA. We are not part of the Philippine National Police. Mas malaki po sila. Mas uh, malaking ahensya po ang Philippine National Police. Kami maliit lamang po. Limited yung jurisdiction namin. But we are performing police uh, functions. Okay, we do investigate crimes, whereas uh, suspect offenders, we attend the uh, court hearings, that, okay, we enforce traffic laws. So, pwede ninyo kaming uh, apply yan sa airport police department. Okay, sa pavement markings natin, pavement markings natin, we have here four markings. Ano yung mga pavement markings? Yan yung magsasabi sa'yo, pwede ka ba 
Kailangan umovertake. Yan. Hindi ka ba pwedeng umovertake? Okay. Mayroon tinatawag na pavement crosswalk. Okay. Sa common word, ito yung tinatawag na pedestrian crossing o yung fencing. Okay. Place at the intersection and other places provided for the safe crossing of pedestrian. Yung pedestrian, tao yan. Okay. Tao yan. Medyo na lulobat na tayo. Okay. So, pavement crosswalk. A place at the intersection and other places provided for the safe crossing of pedestrian. So, pedestrian crossing. Doon dumadaan yung mga tao. Alam na rin yan. Pavement crosswalk. Kaya na crosswalk. Okay. Or so-called pedestrian crossing lane. Okay. Pagtapak ng tao at may mga padaan na sasakyan, ang priority yung tao. Handaan lagi yan. Bakit? Siyempre, nakatapak na sila doon. Eh. Priority yung tao. Sa ibang bansa, ganun. Pag nandyan na yung tao, stop ang sasakyan. Okay. Yun yung mga pedestrian crossings natin. Doon ang tamang daanan. Okay? Pag ang sasakyan, binangga mo yung tao na nasa pedestrian crossing, malaki ang pananagutan mo. Pero kung ang tao tumawid sa hindi tamang tawiran, pwede mong sabihin, kasalanan niya yan. Okay? Pero pagka sa mismong pedestrian crossing mo siya na sa gasaan, may problema kang driver ka. Criminally, administratively, civilly, may kalalagyan ka. Okay? We have also the broken white line. Kung nakikita yung mga kalsada, broken white line yan. Sunod-sunod. Hindi siya yung diretso mo. Broken siya. Added to the final or separate traffic lanes. Kung may mga ilang lanes yan, so sineseparate niya yan. So broken line. It permits crossing from one lane to another if there is ample passing distance and the opposing lane is clear. So pwede kang umuportake. Yan. Kasi nga, basta as long na clear yung opposite lane mo. Okay. Pwede kang mag-change lane. Okay. Kung broken line, white line. Nakikita yan sa daan. Lalo na sa mga expressways natin. Nakikita yan. Yan sa EDSA. Okay. Solid. But if, if it is a solid white line, solid yan. Okay. Crossing is lawful if only there is ample sight distance and the opposing lane is clear. Okay. It used to separate opposing streams of traffic. Kung dalawang traffic yan, okay. Northbound and southbound. Okay. Yan yung hatian nila. Pwede ka lang mag-cross kung clear. But if not, no. Hindi pwede. Kasi mababangga mo yung opposite lane. Lalo kung uh, opposite direction yan. Okay. Kaya nilalagay yan para sabihin, oh, huwag kang basta magkukos. Unless it is clear. The opposing, uh, opposite lane is clear. Okay. How about solid yellow line? Pag solid yellow line yan, yellow line, straight line, solid. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Yan lang yung driving lane mo. Okay, and it prohibits you from passing other vehicles. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-overtake yan. Solid, yan ka lang. Yan lang yung linya mo. Okay, solid yellow line. Okay, solid yellow line prohibits you from passing other vehicles. Solid white line, pwede lang if the opposing lane is clear. Okay, if it is a different direction. Broken white line, sineseparate niya yung different lanes. Okay. It permits crossing from one lane to another. Pwede ka mag-change lane. As long may uh, uh, clear passing distance. Then yung crosswalk, mga pedestrian crossings natin. Okay, so clear tayo rito sa apat na to, pavement markings. Hindi sa traffic signal, pero markings sa daan. Yan yung mga markings sa daan na nakikita natin. May ibig sabihin yan. Kung hindi ka criminology student at hindi ka nag-undergo ng proper training, hindi mo alam yan. Okay? Sa criminology, marami tayong natutuhan. Kaya be proud you are a criminology graduate. Okay. Question number 10. 
These are roads commonly called okay, farm to market road with right of way not less than 2 meters. Ito na yung mga tinatawag na farm to market road. Pero may keyword tayo dito na natatandaan natin. The right of way is not less than 2 meters. Ano to? Anong klaseng road classification to? Is it national road? Is it provincial road? Is it city, municipal, or barangay road? Ano? Amisay. Is it barangay road? Is it city road, national road? Or provincial road? Tignan natin. Sabi ni Sir Gary, barangay road. Tama kaya siya? Sabi ni Sir Julius, barangay, barangay, barangay. Tama kaya? Barangay? With a right to way of less than 2 meters, not less than 2 meters. Barangay ba yan? Tingnan natin. Okay, asan ang barangay dyan? Nasa letter, letter D. Okay. Barangay ba? Check natin. Yes, it is. Barangay. Because our keyword is less than or not less than 2 meters. Okay, not less than 2 meters. Keyword lang tayo. Okay. Then, another question ito. Let us try this. A road that links between two municipalities with right of way from 25 meters to 60 meters. Ano siya? 25 daw, minimum of 25 to 60. Is it national? Ano yan? National road? Provincial road? City road? Municipal road or barangay road? Siyempre, pag may barangay dyan, tanggalin mo na yun. Alam mo na na ang barangay is may right of way not less than 2 uh, meters. So, process of elimination. Alam mo, ah, ang barangay to let not less than... I-eliminate mo na yun. Kung yung barangay is nasa choices, eliminate mo siya. Tignan natin, nasa barangay? Nasa letter D. So, eliminated na yan. Pagpipilihan mo na lang, yung tatlo, either city... Municipal or provincial. Pero dahil alam mo, nag-memorize ka ng keyword, yan, sabi nila Sir uh, Jimmy, Sir Junas, Ma'am Samantha, yung Chinese, <laughs> provincial road daw, provincial roads. Si Sir Winston, Sir Elmer, Alin Sonorin, yan. Jefferson, provincial road. Si Sir... Uh, sumagot ng city road tingnan natin provincial road provincial road dami provincial road pero sabi natin it's no longer barangay eliminated na yan asan kaya 25 to 60 either city municipal or provincial tingnan natin okay C it's provincial road the keyword is 25 meters to 60 meters gandang mag review ano mga kaamisay Basta may guide tayo, mayroon tayong mga keyword na baon. Pag may tanong, kaya nating sagutin. Okay? Pag yan, biniglang itanong sa kahit sino, kahit pa abogado yan, kahit pa engineer yan. Pag hindi niya alam yung mga keyword na yan, 25 meters to 60 meters, ano yan? Eh, criminologist lang nakakalam yan. Criminology graduate lang. Tanong mo yan sa nursing. Wala yan, hindi niya alam yan. May tanong mo yan sa CPA. Alam ba niya yan? Criminology lang yan. Okay? So, letter C. Letter C. Okay. O. Oh, sa kwan naman tayo. Pavement marking naman tayo. Let us familiarize ourselves with the pavement marking. With this question. Question number 12. Oh, try to answer this. Try to answer this. This line in the road okay, is your driving lane and prohibits you from passing other vehicles. Hindi ka daw pwedeng mag-overtake. Uh, okay? Ito lang yung lane mo. Ang dami nating alam na, na, na pavement markings na yan. Okay, ano yan? Yellow line? Okay. Ano yan? Broken white lines? Tignan natin. Titignan natin sa pagpipilian. Sin na? Yellow lane ba? Solid lane? White broken lane? Tignan natin. 
Solid lane? Solid ba? Solid yellow? Solid yellow? Tignan natin kung asan yun. Parang yun nga ang sagot. Hanapin natin, is it a broken white line? Broken? Hindi ka pa pwedeng... Tanong mo sarili mo, hindi ka pa pwedeng mag-overtake dyan o mag-change lane sa broken white? Tapos, left pointing arrow. Anong, anong pa niya? Anong, anong pakilam ng arrow na yan? <laughs> okay. Is it a pavement marking? Yan, yan choice letter B na yan? Pavement marking ba yan? Or solid yellow lane? Or a black and white stripes? Tignan natin. Is that, is, is that a crosswalk? Is that a pedestrian lane? So, sa isip natin, dahil medyo solid yellow lane, kanina na-discuss natin, hindi ka pwedeng basta-basta mag-change lane. Okay? You are prohibited to pass other vehicles. Solid yellow lane ba, sabi nila? <laughs> sabi nila, bawal daw mag-pass kung dilawan ka. <laughs> Tama. <laughs> okay. Pag dilawan ka daw, Sir Gary. Okay, and the right answer, the correct answer is letter, letter C. That's letter C. Okay, tanda na yan. Pag, if it is a solid yellow lane, okay, you are prohibited from passing other, lane, other vehicles because that is your driving lane. You must stay on that lane. Okay, so letter C. Very good. Sa mga sumagot ng letter C, dilawan. Okay. Sa mga dilawan, dilawan ba kayo? Mga sumagot na solid dilawan ba kayo? Mga solid, solid yellow lane. Okay. okay. Another question. This is the place designated for the safe crossing of pedestrian. Madali niyan. Mandyan na yung keyword. Crossing. Ha? Madali naman ng tanong nyo, sir. Alam nyo sa board exam, may madali, may mahirap. Eh, paano kung yung madali hindi mo alam? Patay ka na. Paano ba sasagutin yung mahirap? Okay. Kaya dapat, kahit madali yan, pagpraktisan mo yan. Yan, nagsisimula ang lahat. Sabi, sabi nga nila, kung kaya mo yung madali, okay, maaaring kaya mo yung mahirap. Pero yung madali, hindi mo kaya, For sure, di mo kaya yung mahirap. Ang dali naman yan. Ano yan? Okay. Pavement crossing lane ba yan? Tingnan natin. The place designated for the safe crossing of pedestrian. Ano tawag dyan? Tingnan natin. Asan yung choices natin? Okay. <laughs> Pavement crosswalk? Or pedestrian crosswalk? Okay. Sa board exam, may makanya-kanyang, di ba, other term for this, yun. Kung minsan hindi ginagamit yung word primary term, may mga ginagamit sila na mga secondary term. Kaya pag kahinanap nyo dyan, ba't wala? Ba't wala yung pavement crossing lane? Ba't wala yung pavement cross walk? Kung gano'n ang nangyari sa question, sa choices, eh maghanap ka na nang mas malapit dun sa term na yon Saan kaya rito sa mga choices na to ang the best answer na ang gagamitin mo na? Ang gagamitin mo na yung logic mo. Crossing of pedestrian. Sa letter A, broken white line. Letter C, solid yellow lane. Alam mo na ito, hindi ka pwedeng mag-cross na uh, mag-cross ng uh, mag-pass ng other vehicle kasi yan lang yung lane mo black and white stripes so titignan mo yun pedestrian crosswalk Sabi, ah this is the best answer kung pinili natin yung letter D kahit nga hindi natin alam yan eh the question itself suggests the answer okay check natin ako kung ako ang sasagot dito letter B ako eh check natin letter B ba sabi ng iba, pedestrian crosswalk. Check natin. Yes, it's letter B. Alam nyo sa kahit anong exam, kahit anong klase ng exam, may mga question 
na parang hindi mo na na na, na encounter hindi ko na encounter to sa amo um, sa review center ah. parang wala ito ah parang hindi nila ni review to pero pwede mo nang gamitin using the question itself to answer the, that question based on the choices okay and here the best answer is pedestrian crosswalk letter b lang gamitin lang yung logic natin logic okay okay arrows naman tayo ngayon directional arrows directional arrows pag sinabing daming arrows dito straight arrow nakikita ninyo mga arrow dito they is for traffic moving straight ahead diretso ka lang straight ka diretso ka ano yung pa nila uh, ano yung political party diretso yung kalaban ng uh, administration party natin okay straight arrow straight ka lang e paano kung if it is a left pointing arrow syempre left turn ka lang okay makakaliwa ka niyan left turn how about if the lane is for right turning only eh, right pointing arrow ka nakikita mo naman yan eh. papunta sa kanan Okay, kanan, kaliwa. So dapat alam mo yung nasaan yung kanan at kaliwa mo. Now, if it is a two-headed arrow with straight and right arrows, it means traffic may go straight ahead or right turn. Siyempre, pwede kang dumiretso, pwede kang mag-right turn. How if it is a two-headed arrow with straight and left arrows? Pwede kang dumiretso, straight, or go to the left or left turn. Ganun lang, simple lang naman. Mga directional arrows. Pa kanan, pa kaliwa, or pa diretso. Saan ka? Ngayon kayo mga nagre-review, tanungin na ninyo sarili nyo, gusto ko bang maging criminologist? Eh, diretso kayo. Diretso pag re review nyo. Huwag kayong kakaliwa, huwag kayong kakanan. Diretso ang review nyo. Diretso enroll na rin kayo sa amin sa review center. Ganun yan. Gusto mo bang maging criminologist? Ako ay magiging registered criminologist. Diretso enroll ako sa Amisai Review Center. Okay, enroll na kayo. Uh, message na ninyo si Attorney J. Okay. Sir, magkano ba? May discount ba dyan? Maka-discount kayo. Malaking bibigay na discount sa inyo lalot uh, kaibigan natin si Attorney J. Ferraro. Discounted dyan. And just like for this, we give uh, free lectures. Parang patikim lang to. Patikim sa inyo. This is uh, the method we want to introduce to you. We will, uh, we will give you the edge of passing the board examination. Okay? The better edge. We will give you the better edge to pass the board examination. Sana. Diretso ka ba? Oh, ang dami na tuwid na daan. Uh, sa, sa atin, diretso. Okay. So, directional arrows, we have five, straight, left, pointing arrow, right, pointing arrow, two-headed arrow with right arrow or left arrow. Depende. Nasa sa atin naman na yan. Okay. Licensing system tayo. Dito sa ginawa kong presentation, I just uh, picked yung mga important uh, topics sa uh, traffic management na maaaring lalabas sa board examination. Okay, sa licensing system tayo. Bakit mayroon tayong licensing system? The system of issuing license to any person who is qualified to fulfill the responsibility is required by the license. This is administered by the LPO under RA4136 or yung Land Transportation Traffic Code of the Philippines. Okay. So, as we all know, hindi ka pwedeng basta-basta mag-drive ng sasakyan, okay, kung wala kang lisensya. At hindi ka rin basta-basta pwedeng kumuha ng lisensya kung hindi ka qualified. Qualification standard dyan eh. Set forth by the law. Okay. So, yan ang licensing system natin. Ang nabibigay ng lisensya sa atin para mag-drive 
ay yung LTO. And we must remember that having a license is just a privilege granted by the government. It's not a matter of right. Sabi nga nila, having a license is not, is not a matter of right. Ano kayo ba nun? Pag privilege, okay, at any time, pag nag-violate ka, pwedeng kunin yan. Hindi sa iyo yan, eh, sa gobyerno yan. Privilegio mo lang yan. Granted only as a privilege, but not as a matter of right. Kung right mo kasi yan, you can demand for it. Eh, huwag niyo kunin yan. Sa akin yan eh. It's not just like a property. Na may property right ka. O yung buhay mo. Karapatan kong mabuhay. Okay? Or sabihin mo, karapatan kong umibig. Huwag mong kunin sa akin ang karapatan na yan. So, as applied to driver's license, privilege lang yan. Privilege lang yan. It is not a matter of right. It is just a mere privilege. Tandaan niyo yan. Okay, what is that driver? Sino yung driver na yan? Pag sinabi kang driver, hindi ka basta-basta. Technically, pag sinabi kang driver, you must be a licensed operator of a vehicle. Lisensyado ka. Sabi nga nila, wala kang karapatan na magmaneho ng sasakyan kung hindi ka lisensyadong driver. Wala kang valid driver's license. Okay? Maraming klase ng driver's license, mamaya i-discuss natin. Okay, driver's license is a privilege okay? granted by the government. And if you do violate traffic rules and regulations, that privilege can be revoked or, and or suspended. Pwedeng ma-revoke yung privilege mo or pwedeng ma-suspend. Okay. So let's go to the kinds of licenses. Alam na ninyo to. Mayroon tayong student permit. Okay? Allowed to drive only on the presence of duly license, ay license driver. Yung mga nag-aaral magmaneho, kailangan kumuha ka ng student permit mo. Okay? Then, habang nagmamaneho ka, dapat may katabi kang uh, lisensyadong driver. Okay? How about yung non-professional driver's license. Yan yung pwede kang magmaneho ng mga private vehicles, no? O yung mga privately owned vehicles only. Hindi ka pwedeng magmaneho ng mga vehicles na pampasada o mga for public conveyances tinatawag. Hindi ka pwedeng magmaneho ng taxi. Hindi ka pwedeng magmaneho ng jeep, ng bus. Dahil pag ginagamit mo na yung lisensya para to earn a living, kailangan mo ng professional driver's license. So, yan ang kaiba ng non-professional at professional. Sa so, non-professional, privately owned vehicle, pwede mo i-drive. Pero pag professional, dapat may professional driver's license ka para makapagmaneho ka ng mga vehicle na ginagamit sa anak buhay. Professional driver's license. So may mga kanyan. So we have also a military driver's license issued by the Armed Forces of the Philippines sa mga military uh, personnel nila and specifically for military vehicles only. Then mayroon tayong mga international driver's license issued by the Philippine Motor Association. Okay. Yung mga tourist natin okay na gusto mag-drive dito, mayroon tayong ini-issue international driver's license plus their uh, local uh, driver's license sa kanilang lugar, then that is good for 90, 90 days, 90 days dito sa atin. Valid for 90 days. So, student permit, non-professional, professional, military, and international driver's license. Ganon din tayo. Pag pupunta tayo ng ibang bansa, yung local license natin dito sa Pilipinas, pwede natin magamit doon. Okay, question. This kind of license gives you the privilege to make driving a means of livelihood. Napanggit natin kanina. Gusto mo mag-drive ng taxi? Gusto mo mag-drive ng pagpasahadang jeep? Okay. Anong lisensya ang dapat meron ka? Dapat meron ka bang international license? Non-professional license? 
military driver's license or a professional driver's license. Ano yan? Kung magda-drive ka as a means of livelihood para kumita ka ng pera, mag-drive ka. Anong lisensya ang dapat meron ka? Oh, professional driver's license daw, sabi nila. Professional ba? Professional? Pro? Professional driver's license ba? Or pwede na yung non-professional? O, oh, eh, paano kung international driver's license ko? O oh, military person, di ba ako pwede yan? Okay. Very good. We must have a professional driver's license for us to drive vehicles na yung mga pub, for public conveyances. Okay. Very good, very good. Mga nag-answer, Sir Mark, Sir Jefferson, Sir Julius, Ma'am Alex, uh, Alexandre, sa Ma'am Samantha. Very good. Ma'am LG. Very good. You're all very good. Okay. Restriction code. Ito, more on technical na naman to. Dapat familiar tayo sa mga keywords natin dito. It's very technical. Mga restriction codes natin. Hindi may porke may lisensya ka, eh, pwede ka na mag-drive ng lahat ng, ng uh, vehicles. May mga tinatawag na restrictions tayo dito. Okay, restrictions code is a restriction granted by law prescribing... the specific type or vehicle that may be used. Okay. So, my res restriction code, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Let us familiar ourselves here. Pag restriction code, one ang mo. May driver's license ka. Ano lang pwede? Okay. Riders, riders ka lang. Motorized tricycle. Tricycle or motorcycle, RC code 1. Restriction code 1. Ay yung code 2. Okay. Motor vehicles weighing not more than 4,500 kilograms. Yep. So yun lang yung pwede mong may kanya-kanya kasing bigat ang sasakyan. Yan yung basihan nila. Sa 3, restriction code number 3, a motor vehicle weighing more than, pag more than 4,500 kilogram, 3 ka. Okay? Okay. How about restriction code 4? Number 4. Ayan yung may automatic clutch. Okay. And weight not more than 4,500 kilogram. RC4. How about restriction? Restriction code number 5. Isulat ninyo yan. Habang kung hindi naman tayo nagmamadali. Nasa screen naman yan. Sulat ninyo. Yung mga keyword na yan. Restriction code number 5. Okay. Motor vehicles with automatic clutch and weighing more than okay, 4,500 kilograms. Ano to? Articulated. Ito yung mga may hinihila. May tra trailer na sila. Articulated motor vehicle with weight, weight not more than 1,600 kg. Mga may hinihila na, may trailer na. Restriction code number 6. About restriction code number 7. Articulated motor vehicles weighing more than 1,600 kg but not more than 4,500 kg. So very technical pala to mga restrictions na yan. So, sir, hindi ba ako pwede mag-drive na? Ay, marunong naman ako yan eh. Mga trailer, kaya ko eh. Eh, depende, kumuha ka, anong restriction ka. Okay? Restriction code number eight, articulated motor vehicles weighing more than 4,500 kilograms. So, para madali, memorize nyo yan, familiarize lang ninyo. Okay? Pagka nag-memorize kayo, you focus, maglagay kayo ng parang mga palatandaan ninyo. Restriction code 1, motorcycle. 2, pataas ng pataas yan. So, pag not more than 4,500, ah, 2 yan. Pag more than, ah, 3 yan. Pero pag may automatic class, 
that more than 4,500, four yan. Yan, depende paano nyo yung style ninyo. So magsulat kayo. Habang nagre-review kayo, ang tip ko sa inyo, magsulat kayo. Bakit? Habang nagsusulat ka, okay, mas lalong natatanim sa isip mo yung sinusulat mo. Tandaan ninyo lagi, kahit nung estudyante pa tayo, habang sinusulat mo yan, isang na tayo, natatandaan mo yung sinusulat mo. So magsulat kayo. Okay, description of motor vehicles, government motor vehicles, diplomatic, or uh, commemorative plates ng vehicles natin. So plate numbers natin. Based on plate number ng vehicle na yan, malalaman natin yan kung yan ay private, yan ay for public utility, yan ay for government, sa government ba yan, or diplomat car ba yan, okay. or yun yung makinatawag na uh, commemorative plates. Tingnan natin. Dati, to private motor vehicles, green yan. Pag sinabi green plate ka, private ka. Pero nagbago, ngayon white background with black markings. But still, may mga nakikita pa rin tayo na green plate pa rin, hindi pa nabago. Pero ngayon, sinisimulan na nabaguhin, white background na with black markings. How about if it is a, uh, if it is a yellow background with black markings? Yellow. Ayan yung mga public utility motor vehicles, taxi, mga jeep, pampasada. Okay? May school bus. Pero ito, government motor vehicles, sa plate number pa lang, pag nakita mo, pula yan, ah, sa gobyerno yan. Okay? Pag red plate, red plate yan, government vehicle yan. But if it is a blue markings, blue, makita natin, may white background, blue siya, at diplomatic car. Pag-aari yan ng ibang bansa, yung mga diplomat na nandito sa atin, maring konsul yan, maring ambasador yan, so diplomatic car yan. Okay. May meron tayong mga tinatawag na commemorative plates, pero sa ngayon nata, medyo pinagbawal na yung mga commemorative plates na yan. At ang nag-i-issue na yun, yung Office of the President. Okay. So either private, Public utility, government, diplomatic, mayroong kanya-kanyang color or uh, specific colors. Para doon pa lang makita natin anong klaseng sasakyan, sino ang mayari niyan. Pribadong tao, pampasada ba yan, sa gobyerno ba yan, o diplomat ba yan. Or kung yung plate na yan is sa commemorative plate. Which is issued to groups or organization or association subject to the approval of the office of the president. Okay, so let's proceed. Tignan natin, may question ba rito? Okay, this is a question. Try to answer this question. It is a special plate. It is a special plate issued to groups, organization, or association subject to the approval of the office of the president. Ang kakatapos lang. Special plate daw siya. O special plate, hindi siya ordinary plate number. Okay. So titignan natin, is it a VIP plate number, special plate, okay? Is it a commemorative plate or a remembrance plate? Saan dyan? Baka malit mo. Halos pare-parehas lang yan, sir. Ah. Halos pare-parehas lang yan. Okay? Pare-parehas na yan. Saan ba dyan? Commemorative? Plate ba? Nasabi ni Sir Angelo, Ma'am Lorimay? Commemorative ba? Hindi ba VIP yan? Hindi ba special plate yan? Is a special plate? Okay. The correct answer is it is a uh, commemorative plate. Okay. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Marami na tayo. Mga topic. Actually, traffic management sa criminology it is a six-month uh, subject, to, di ba? Pero we're trying to dissect it and present it in just uh, an hour, or at least two hours. Plus na yung mga question natin. Okay? So, <coughs> nag, uh, are you learning? May mga natutunan ba tayo, mga kaamisay? 
Nasusundan ba ninyo yung literature natin? Okay? Nasusundan po ba natin? Here we're trying to give you the best way to understand yung topic natin. Okay. For the classifications of vehicles, okay, either it is a private for higher government diplomatic. Titignan natin. Motor vehicles not to be used for hire under any circumstances. That is a private. Hindi mo pwedeng pang pasada yan o para kumita ng pera. Okay? Kasi pag ginamit mo yung private vehicle mo, okay, ginamit mo na masada ka, pwede kang ulihin. Ano ka ngayon? Anong pwedeng ikaso sa, sa inyo? Anong klaseng sasakyan ka? Sabi sa'yo, kulorong ka. Bakit? Wala kang prangkisa para gamitin yan para pang pasada. Private yan eh. Okay? So private motor vehicle. Hindi mo pwedeng gamitin for hire. How about yung mga vehicles for hire? Ito na yung mga mayroong tinatawag na prangkisa. Mayroon silang tinatawag na Certificate of Public Conveyances or Special Permit. Sino nag-i-issue niyan? Yung for hire. Yung sinabi natin kanina. Yung Land Transport and Franchising Regulatory Board or LTFRB. LTFRB. Okay? So kung for hire ka, dapat kumuha ka ng Special Permit from LTFRB. Napakasimple lang naman yan. Alam na natin yan. Okay. Kung government vehicle ka, meaning that vehicle is owned by the government or any of its political subdivisions, katapulad ng mga DOCCs, yung mga local government units, okay? So, government owned ka. Yan yung mga sinasabi natin kanina, red plates na vehicles. But if it is a diplomatic car, diplomatic car, These cars or vehicles are owned by foreign governments. Hindi pag-aari yan ng bansang Pilipinas, pag-aari yan ng ibang bansa. Okay. But they are duly accredited by this, uh, but by our government. Okay. Used in the official discharge of their duties. So ginagamit niya, mga diplomatic car na yan. Okay, may question. Hindi ba pwede daw, alimbawa, nag-violate yung diplomatic car na yan? Pwede bang tikita niyan? Pwede yan. Dito sa airport, tinitikitan namin yan, diplomatic car. Okay? Ay, hindi mo naman yung yung kung natitikitan mo, yung driver niya. Karamihan mga yan, yung mga driver, hindi naman immune yan from uh, citation. Okay? So, yung car, sa ibang basa, pero yung driver, yung tikitan mo, sila violate eh. Okay? So, tanggalin natin yung notion and for a diplomatic car yan, di pwedeng tikitan yung driver. Okay? Eh, pati government vehicle natin, pag nag-violate yung titikitan yan, maraming kaming kasamahan na titikitan na rin. Marami na rin ibang uh, government uh, owned vehicles na nag-drive, natikitan namin. Kasi nga, ang pinag-usapan dito, yung violation. Yung violation. Okay? So, hindi lang yung private o yung mga for hire vehicles na titikitan. Lahat yan. Okay. okay, so bakit, ano ba yung mga batas? Bakit mayroon tayong tinatawag na pag may violation, kailang tikitan? Okay. Bakit may mga classifications ng sasakyan? Because we have a law. Tandaan ninyo ito. RA4136, otherwise known as the Land Transportation and Traffic. Code of the Philippines, RA 4136. That is also the law that created LTO, okay? RA 4136. Bakit kailangan kumuha ka ng lisensya? Okay? Bakit kailangan magparistro ka ng sasakyan? It's because of that law. Okay? And mayroon din tayong RA 7924. An act that... Provides the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority or MMDA to enforce all laws and regulations in Metro 
Manila through its Traffic Operation Center and any deputized member of the PNP and traffic law enforcers of the local government organizations, including other deputized agencies just like uh, us, Airport Police uh, Department. So for 136 at saka 7924, baka kasi lumabas sa exam yan. Sayang naman kung uh, uh, malimutan niyan. yan. Lalo yung RA4136 na yan. Okay, let us answer this question number 16. Okay, question number 16. It is a motor vehicle owned by foreign governments. So, ang keyword natin dyan is foreign government or by their duly accredited diplomatic officers used in the official discharge of their duties. Owned by, the por by foreign governments, not by the Philippine government. Sino yan? Anong klaseng... Anong klaseng sasakyan? Is it a private vehicle? It is a for hire vehicle? Is a government owned vehicle? Or is it a diplomatic vehicle? Ano? Try to answer this. Try to answer this question. Sabi dito, a motor vehicle owned by a foreign government. Okay. The answer for this question is letter D, Delta, okay, diplomat, it is a diplomat car, okay, it's a diplomat car. And also, we have a law, yung, ito, RA8750, ito yung lagi nyo yung nakikita, bakit kailangan mag seatbelt tayo, it is seatbelt law. Anak requiring the mandatory compliance by motorists, driver of public or private vehicles to use seatbelt devices, and requiring the vehicle manufacturer to install seatbelt devices on their manufactured vehicles. So seatbelt law ito. Okay. Seatbelt law. It is a law. Okay. Why? This is for safety purposes. Habang nagdarag ka, kailan naka seatbelt ka? Para pag bumangga ka man, at least yung impact ay mamitigate. So may batas tayo dyan. RA 8750. 8750. Then sa traffic environment natin related, we have a law yung Clean Air Act of 1999. Kaya nga may mga nag-check dyan ngayon. Yung mga ASBU na tinatawag. Yung mga hinuhuli nila yung mga nagbubuga ng uh, maitim na uso. Stambut yung RA 8749 or Clean Air Act of 1999. So, itong mga laws na to, pwedeng lumabas yan. So, take note of those laws. Okay? Take note of those laws. Ito na. Let us go to traffic law enforcement. Oh, this is very interesting. Traffic law enforcement. There are many kinds of traffic enforcement action, either traffic arrest, traffic sinasabi, either visual or verbal. Unahin natin yung traffic arrest. Eh, sa atin, criminology graduate tayo, alam na natin ibig sabihin ng arrest, kahit hindi na uh, explain sa atin. Sabihin natin, arrest is uh, the taking of a person into custody in order that he may be bound to answer for the commission of an offense. Yan yung definition niya sa ating uh, criminal procedure. But as applied to traffic enforcement, traffic arrest is the enforcement action which consists of taking a person into custody for the purpose of holding or detaining him to answer a charge of law violation before a court. Okay. Alam ba ninyo na pag nag-drive ka ng, ng uh, vehicle na hindi mo dala ang iyong lisensya, wala kang license, E pwede kang arrestuhin at ipahinquest via warrantless arrest. Dahil yan sa RA 4136. It is not just a mere administrative violation yung sa driver's license na yan. Pag nahuli ka, pwede kang i-inquest. Ibig sabihin ng inquest, pwede kang arrestuhin without 
the benefit of awaro to pares at pwede kang ikulong because of that mere violation na hindi ka nagdala ng driver's license while driving. Okay? So that is arrest. You are taking custody of a person for violation of any traffic rules and regulation or whatsoever. How about traffic citation? Ah, ito yung pag nagdadrive ka, ito yung natatakot tayo. Pag nakakita ka ng LPO, nakakita ka ng MMDA, mga HPG yan, medyo parating ka pa lang. Uy, may traffic enforcer. Uy, may traffic officer. Okay. Made of having violator without physical arrest. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Yan yung titikitan ka. Okay. Mamaya malalaman natin ano yung mga ibang paniket. Yung mga TBR, TOP. Okay. Mamaya malalaman natin ano yung mga paniket na inisyo ng LTO, ng MMDA, ng mga uh, local government uh, traffic enforcers natin. Okay. Ito question natin para bumalik yung memory natin dun sa huli. Okay. If a vehicle is not used for hire, it is said to be. What does it mean? If a vehicle is not used for hire, hindi naman siya ginagamit for hire. Anong tawag mo sa vehicle na yan? Anong tawag sa vehicle na yan? Say, try to answer. O, may sumagot na. Private ba? Hindi naman siya for hire. Private? Sabi ni Ma'am Lorraine May. Saka si Don Rex. Hey, Rex. O, alam na natin. Private. If, not, if it is not for hire, then it is private. So kung alam mo lang, if it is, if it is private, hanapin mo sa choices. Asan yung private? Okay. So disregard mo na itong tatlo. Sa A, B, and C. Punta ka na doon dahil alam mo na. Much more doon sa letter C. For hire eh. Sabi na nga niya sa question, not use for hire. So disregarded na yan. So letter D. The answer is letter D. The answer is letter D. Okay. answer is letter D. Okay. Another question. A kind of enforcement action which consists of Taking a person into custody, and doon na yung keyword. Taking a person into custody. What kind of enforcement action yan? Is it, yun nga, traffic arrest? Or yung isa, traffic citation? Or warning? Diyan pa lang, mayroon na tayong keyword. Kahit hindi mo matapusin ba sa akin yung question, alam na. A kind of enforcement action which consists of taking a person Ito cost be for the purpose of holding or detaining him. To answer, oh, grabe naman yan. Napakahaba. Huwag na. Sa keyword na lang ako. Anong keyword yan? Taking a person into custody. What's the purpose? For holding or detaining him. For what? To answer a charge of law violation before a court. As applied to traffic. Maring traffic violation yan. Nakabangga ka? Namatay yung nabangga mo? Nahuli ka? Okay. Then, you are being taken to custody as a matter of what? Sabi natin, arrest. Arrest, sir. Arrest yan. Sabi nga sa criminal procedure, arrest is the taking of a person into custody in order that he may be bound to answer for the commission of an offense. Asan ba yung traffic arrest dyan? Ah, letter C. Nandito na. Da, letter C. Daming. Very good. Letter C. Tama ba? Letter C? Hindi ba tayo nagkakamali? Yes, it's letter letter C. Letter C. Napakadali. Parang ang question na yan, bonus question na yan. Para sa ating mga criminology graduate, bonus na yan. Yan yung mga question na parang ibinigay na yan para pumasa lang kayo. Okay, kaya huwag kayo matatak. Okay. Dalawa lang naman ang klase ng question sa board. Mahirap at saka madali. Alam mo at hindi mo. Alam. Okay. O sa alam mo, eh, dapat mag-review ka para huwag mo sisihin yung sarili mo. Walang rason na hindi ka makakapasa. Six months yan. Six months. Ang preparation is six months mula ngayon. More, more than six months pa nga eh. 
June pa ang CLA Board Examination, June 2021. Okay. Eh dapat sa June, pumasa ka na. Isa, huwag mo sabihin na, eh, sir, two times naman ang board. No, huwag, huwag ganun ang isip natin. Two times naman ang board. By December pa naman, next year, no. Dapat first take, pasado ka. Basta mag-enroll ka sa Amisai Review Center. Para for sure, pumasa ka. Okay? Okay. Another question. Enough requiring the mandatory compliance by motorists of public or private vehicles to use seatbelt devices. So batas ang tinatanong dito. And requiring the vehicle manufacturer to install seatbelt devices on their manufactured vehicles. So ito na yung seatbelt no sir. Ito yung seatbelt no. Pero nalimutan ko yan. Ano ba yan? Ayan yung objective question na tinatawag. Ibig sabihin, it is not a subjective question. Dapat alam mo mismo yan. Hindi yan yung kaya mong mag-eliminate. Hindi. Dapat alam mo yan. Ano yan? RA what? Anong RA yan? Ang sabi nila, 8750. Very good. Alam nila. Wala pang choices. Alam mo na. RA 8750. Huwag. Kasi baka balibalik ta rin yan. 8750, 8570. Lilituhin kayo. But kung alam mo yan, nag De, uh, alam ko yan, 8750 yan. Hanapin mo na ngayon sa choices. Asan yung 8750 yan? Okay. Let us try to use yung elimination process. Letter A. RA 4136. Ay, hindi yan. Yan yung nag-create sa LTO. Yan yung traffic code. Hindi yan. Yan ba yung 7924? Ano daw? Hindi mo alam. Ay, hindi ko alam yan. Pero ito, R8750, parang yan ah. Ito yun. So, R8750. Bilugan mo agad yung letter C. At siguraduhin mo na yung binibilugan mo, yung question number 19 dun sa answer sheet mo, siguraduhin mo na question number 19. Bakit? May mga nag-board exam na yung question, alam nila yung sagot. Pero doon sa answer sheet, mali. Nasa question number 20 yung binibilugan nila or number 18 o ibang question. Maaring tama ka para sa'yo pero mali ka doon sa answer sheet mo. Kaya isang technique dyan, siguraduhin mo na yung 19, question number 19 is yung ina-answer mo sa answer sheet. So yun Kung letter C, letter C ka, siguraduhin mo 19. 19 yan. Okay. RA 8750. Okay, that's it. RA 8750. Yung uh, uh, seat belt doon natin. Okay. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, ito na. Citation. Sir, ano yung tinataas na sabi mo? Other than arrest, meron tayong traffic citation. May iba't ibang klase ng panikit. Ito to yan. Mayroong panikit ang LTO. Mayroong panikit ang MMDA. May panikit ang mga local government units natin. Okay. Para hindi kayo malito pag LTO. Okay. POP. Ang panikit nila. O temporary. Operators. Permit. Isulat na ninyo yan. Okay. Validity niyan is 72 hours. Okay. And that is being used as a temporary license para makapag-drive ka. Saan? Sa entire Philippines, pag ang ginamit sa US TOP. Yung panikit ng LTO. Okay. Kaya dito sa airport police department, ang panikit namin dito, iba-iba. May TOP, may OBR. Okay, pamimiliin ka. Anong gusto mo? LTO or dito lang sa Pasay? Ayun. Sir, Pasay na lang. Sir, ayun mo, nabahala ka. Okay. So, TOP ang tawag doon. Panikit na LTO, TOP. Used in the enforcement of traffic management measures by the OTR and other special laws by the LTO. TOPN. 
Yung panikit ng MMDA ay yung tinatawag na TVR. Traffic Violations Receipt. Oh. Paano yan? Traffic Violation Receipt. MMDA yan. TVR ang tawag sa panikit nila. Okay. Ganon din, 72 hours, pag natikitan ka, and you can use that as, a, as your temporary driver's permit while within the Metro Manila or Metropolitan Manila. E paano kung yung mga municipal uh, or city units natin, mga local uh, government units natin, ano yung klase ng panikit nila? Ang tawag na gamit nila is OVR. OVR, Ordinance Violations Receipt. Okay? So, validity niyan is 5 days. Unlike dun sa naunang dalawa is 72 hours same. Okay. Sa OVR is 5 days ang validity. Eh, kailangan kunin mo na. Punta ka kung sino nakauli sa'yo. Kung nauli ka dyan sa Bacor, doon ka sa City of Bacor. Nauli ka sa Pasay, pas kunin mo yung lisensya mo sa Pasay. Okay. Or sa iba, ibang lugar. Actually, yung mga local government units natin, ginawa na yun as an incidental form of uh, revenue yung panikit na yan. Yung mga enforcer nila, mayroon silang certain uh, uh, percentage sa mga natikita nila. Okay. So, yun yun. TOP, TBR, OVR. Huwag niyong kalimutan yan. TOP for LTO, TBR for MDA, OVR for mga LGUs natin. How about traffic warning? Madali na lang to. Sa mga traffic warning, may visual, may verbal, may written. Okay? Traffic warning. Enforcement action which does not contemplate possible assessment by penalty by the court. Wawarningan mo lang naman yan eh. Ano yung traffic warning? Uh, pag may nakita ka nag-violate, may nag-park dun sa no parking, no parking uh, area, may nakalagay dun na no parking. Okay, pituan mo. Pwede ka dyan. Okay, palisin mo. Yung iba may flashlight pero hindi namin kinuha niya na paslightan mo yung driver. It's a form of disrespect yun. Okay, senyasan mo. Bawal yan. Okay, indicated by the gesture of hand or by the tooth of your horn. Or, yung mga uh, pupusinaan mo ba yung mga nakamobile ka, okay, warning mo. Bawal ka dyan. Alis ka dyan. Tut -tut. Okay, may verbal warning. Pausapin mo siya. I-jukit mo siya. Okay? Oh, bawal yung ginawa mo. No, warn, uh, no parking dyan. Two minutes loading and loading lang tayo. No U-turn dyan. Ngayon, pagbibigyan kita, by the next time na mahuli kita, titikitan na kita. Okay? Verbal warning yun. And educate mo siya. Educate mo siya. Kasi, bawal yung ginawa mo, madidisgrasya ka dyan. Walang U-turn slot dyan. Ba't nag-U-turn ka dyan? Okay? So, bine-verbal warning mo. Dalawa lang naman ang uri ng enforcer eh. Mabait at hindi mabait. Straight at saka yung flexible. Pag flexible, napapakusapan. Pagka hindi flexible, ah, batas yan eh. Hindi pwede pakipakiusap dito. Okay. Pero pagka nag-verbal warning ka lang, that's good. It's a way to educate other motorists. Pero pwede kang mag-written warning. Formation of visual warning. Tingin mo yung kanyang uh, resibo, nalisensya, o warning ano, warning. Oh, lagay mo yung violation niya, warningan mo lang. Pero not necessarily, isuan mo siya ng citation ticket. Okay? So, yun yung mga traffic warnings natin. Either visual, verbal, at saka written warning. So, nakakasunod pa rin po ba tayo? Baka natutulog na yung mga kasamaan natin. Okay. Okay. Ito, question number 20 tayo. Kinds of traffic citation except one. Ito na yung mga TOP, OBR, okay? Except one. Tingnan natin. 
So kung alam mo yung mga kinds of traffic citation, yung mga paniket ng MMDA, LTO, o yung mga local government units natin, PBR, check natin. Except one. Kung nandyan na, nandyan ang TOP, okay, kasama yan. Ano itong LTOP na to? <laughs> Wala naman yan ah. Sa baril yan ah. Yan yung license to own and possess firearm. Ay hindi yan. So sigurado ko nun. Lalong hindi itong TBR sa COBR na to. Kasali yan eh. Okay, TOP sa LTO yan eh. Itong LTOP. Sa baril yan eh. So ito yung except one na hinahanap L top L top L top eh kasi sinasabi ito L top di ba Sa baril yan hindi yan panikit So A C and D yan yung mga kinds of traffic citation but not letter B not L top okay. So letter B letter B Okay question 21 Malapit na tayo 30 questions lang naman ito eh It is considered as a temporary driver's permit Temporary lang within the jurisdiction of the issuing agency for 72 hours. Actually, kung hanggang dyan lang, hindi mo alam kung yan ay uh, LTO or MDA. Pero ang keyword natin dito is valid in the entire Philippines. Ano yan? Entire Philippines daw ang validity niyan. As a temporary driver's license, pag natikitan ka. Okay. Ano siya? Anong Klaseng panikit yan. What kind of citation ticket is that? Valid for 72 hours. Within the entire Philippines. Sino nag-iisyo niyan? LTO ba? MMDA ba? Anong klaseng citation ticket yan? Anong klase? Sabi nila, TOP, TOP, TOP. Okay. Tama ba TOP ba? TOP ba daw? Sige, huwag na natin patagalin. Asan yung TOP? Letter A. Okay. Kung sigurado sa tayo sa TOP, then tama ba yung sagot? Yes. It's letter A. Very good. Very good yung masumagot ng letter A. Letter A. Okay? TOP. Okay. TOP. Okay. So whistle-whistle tayo. Sir, bakit yung mga traffic enforcer? Mayroon silang silbato. Ayan. Silbato ang tawag doon. Malalim Tagalog. Whistle. Ano ibig sabihin pag... It's a long blast. Eh, ibig sabihin stop ka dyan. Stop. Eh, pag dalawa, snappy blast. Magkasunod. That means go. You go. Okay. Bongo. Okay. Two short blasts. Eh, paano kung three blasts ng whistle mo? Eh, kailangan na assistance sa ka. Yung motorist, dapat attentive ka. Pinibigyan mo ng warning. Okay. If you stop, one long blast. Stop. Two short snappy blasts. Go. Go. Lalo na pag nasa kong ka, walang traffic light. Baka stop. Pag go na yan, go na yan, go. Okay, go. Then, three blasts. Pinawarningan mo siya or kailangan mo ng assistance. Okay. So, visual stick na. Baka lumabas sa board. Two kinds of carriers. Sabi nga natin, mayroong private and common carriers. One, available only to a certain individual. Private yan. Then, yung common carriers, yung mga, yan, marami tayong common carriers, yung mga public conveyances natin. Dami nating for travel. Common carriers for travel. Okay, bus, taxi, jeep, common couriers, tabag yan. Mga aeroplano, ship, common couriers yan. Okay. So, baka lang itanong sa board exam yan. Kaya nilagay natin dyan. Okay, ito. If the officer gives two short snappy blasts, yung... Pito niya, dalawa. What does that mean? Ano ibig sabihin? Two snappy, short, isa. Ano, stop ka ba? O winawa?
Warning ang gabaw, malis ka na, o ano? That means what? Or kailangan mo nang mag-go? Kailangan mo na bang mag-go? Sabi natin, ah, baka dali lang naman yan. Go yan, sir. Hanapin natin, natin nasa ng go. Is it stop, wait, or huminto ka, pull over, or... You must go. That means you must bro. yung mga bongo. <laughs> Very good. It's bongo. Bongo for vice president. Okay. Bongo for vice president. Okay. Senator Bongo. Sir, baka, parang maka Duterte ka. Duterte ako. Okay. okay. Now, in the study of traffic management, kailangan and let us familiarize ourselves with the different important terminologies. We have here passenger, a person who is carried or conveyed in an automobile, truck, train, airplane, or other conveyances, has the right to be transported safely from one point of origin to the point of destination. Pasahero, o yan, passenger. A person who is carried, yan, pasahero ha. May nagdadrive, may nakasakay, okay? Lalo sa mga public conveyances, ang tawag doon, Pasahero. Kasi nagbabayad mga yan eh. At dahil nagbabayad sila, they have the right na madala sila sa kanilang destination safely. Safe sila. Passenger. How about pedestrian? Ano ba yung pedestrian na yan? Bakit may pedestrian lane? Okay. Someone who goes or travel on foot or a person not in or a pan ng mga pabigyan. Ano naglalakad sa dan? Pedestrian tawag dyan. Pedestrian. Okay. Okay, naglalakad lang 'yan. Kadilakad. <laughs> Kadilakad. Pedestrian. How about yung term na conductor? Sa probinsya yung mga bus, may mga conductor 'yan eh. Sila yung may driver, mayroon siyang conductor. Alam ba ninyo ng conductor, may sariling lisensya 'yan? May conductor license din basta-basta nagko-conductor 'yan, may lisensya ang conductor. Bakit? Requirement yan eh, bago sa, uh, mag, lalo sa mga public conveyances. Okay. At dapat yung conductor na yan, marunong magmaneho. Bakit? E kung wala yung driver, pwede niyang manuhin yung sasakyan, nagkasakit yung driver. Okay. Conductor is responsible for loading passengers, rights or cargo inside this public utility motor vehicle. Conductor. Sa probinsya namin sa Cagayan, yung mga jeep doon may conductor. Pagdating ko dito sa Manila noon, nagtataka ako bakit yung mga jeep dito mabayad <laughs> ng conductor. E doon sa Cagayan, may taga-singil. Sisingilin ka yan, sasabit-sabit sa pan. Sisingil bawat isa. E doon sa Manila, nagtaka ako noon, nung bago ako rito. Bakit walang conductor? Pwede ka palang hindi magbayad. <laughs> okay. okay. Kaso na nakakaya, sumisigaw yung driver. O yung mga wala pang bayad dyan, magbayad na. Okay. Nasanay kami sa probinsya. Yung mga conductor doon. Sa probinsya namin ni Jim Stocking sa Cagayan. Nanonood siya ngayon. May conductor dyan. Okay. Pati sa taas kasi ng jeep. May mga pasahero doon. Yan. Umakit yung conductor. Naniningil. Sila yung tagabuhat. Yan. Yung doktor daw doon. Okay. Carrier. Ito yung uh, either uh, common or uh, private carrier. A person, corporation, firm, or association engaged in the business of carrying or transporting passengers or goods or both by land, water, or air for compensation offering their services to the public. Uh, yan. So yung mga tinatawag na common carriers yan. Carrier. Okay. Air carrier. Yan mga common carriers natin, either by sea, by air, or by land. Okay? Then, motor vehicle. Alam na natin to. Shall mean any vehicle propelled by any power other than muscular power using a public highway. So, hindi ito yung mga nahatak ng tao ng animals. Using public highways but accepting road rollers. Hindi kasali rito yung mga rollers, trolley cars, street sweepers, hindi. Bulldozers, hindi. Lawn mowers. Okay. So, propelled by any power. 
combustion power, automobile power, yan, motor vehicle yan. Vehicle means any conveyance or other device propelled or drawn by any means and include a bicycle where the context permits includes an animal driven or ridden but does not include a train. Vehicle, o yung may nihila ng, ng kabayo, yan, kalesa, vehicle daw yan. Nihila sa sakyan, bicycle, vehicle yan. Pero pagka by combustion, by uh, propelled by combustion or automobile, motor vehicle tawag doon. Then we have trailers. Trailers. Ano yung trailers na to? Ito yung hinihila. Having any number of uh, wheels when propelled or intended to be propelled by attachment to motor vehicle. Ito yung may sasakyan, may naka-attach, trailer yan. Okay. May trailer. Okay. With no power rating. Okay. Oh. So separate yung motor vehicle dun sa trailer. Yung hinihila, yun yung trailer. Okay. Yung term na counterflow. O oh, nag-counterflow ka. Di ba? Counterflow. Authorized or non-authorized use of the opposite lane of two-way or separated, separated road. Pag sinalubong mo yung uh, isang lane na hindi naman yun yung lane mo, nag-counterflow ka. Okay. Or may dalawang lane, counterflowing, that is an authorized counterflowing kung separate lane naman. But if it is a single lane, tapos kinounterflow mo, hindi naman yun yung direction na sinasabi. Wala, hindi, one way lang yun. Pinasok mo, nagcounterflow ka, that means violation. Okay. Ngayon, how about the term motorcycle? A vehicle that has a saddle for the rider, eh, motor cycle motorcycle and it's designed to have not more than three wheels motorcycle pagka uh, may three wheels na yan tricycle na yon okay tricycle so motorcycle two wheel motorcycle okay park okay means standing of a vehicle whether occupied or not except for the temporary purpose of and while actually engaged in the loading or unloading passenger okay. park lang Pero ang kaibahan ng term na park sa parking, pag sinabing nakaparking ka na, turn off na yung engine mo, patay yung makina mo. Okay? An act by which the driver temporarily leaves sa vehicle, iniwan niya, unattended at the roadside or any space designated specifically for the purpose with its engine, turn off. Yun yung keyword, turn off, for any given length of time. Nag parking ka na. Pero kung nakapark ka lang, eh, not necessarily, nakaparking ka. Okay. Rotonda, run about. Yan, mayroon tayo dito sa Pasay, rotonda. Paikot. Okay. Okay. Then, sidewalk. Yung dinadaanan ng mga tao. Dapat ang sidewalk ay para sa tao. Yan. Pero kung minsan, inuokupa ng mga vendor natin. Yan ang kiniklear ng mga MMDA. Okay? Portion of the highway other than the roadway set apart by cars, barrier or other markings for pedestrian travel. Dapat yan dumadaan yung mga pedestrian. Naalan ng tao yan. Sidewalk. Okay? Yun nga lang ginawa ng benda. Kaya ngayon, uh, pudus to sa mga uh, implementing agencies natin, nakiklear na yung mga sidewalks natin. Ibinalik na natin yung mga sidewalks sa tao. Okay? May mga traffic units. Ano ba yung tinatawag na traffic units? Element of traffic, this includes pedestrian and vehicles. Ito yung mga, ta yung mga units, either pedestrian or vehicles, na dumadaan sa mga traffic ways natin. So, traffic units yan. Traffic ways. All highways are traffic ways. Mga daanan, kalsada, kakalsadahan. It also includes some areas on private property. Traffic ways. Okay? Sa traffic investigation, we have a so-called skid mark. Pag nagpreno yung sasakyan, halimbawa, mabilis yung takbo niya, bigla siya nag-apply ng, uh, uh, ng uh, break. Okay? At nagkaroon ng mark sa, sa road, yung itim, na galing sa gulong, tawag doon skid mark. Okay? Yan yung basihan, kung tinitignan, na kung gaano kabilis yung sasakyan, nakikita mo dyan. Okay? Kung mahaba yung skid mark mo, mahaba yung skid mark, ibig sabihin, napakabilis mo na kahit nag-apply ka na ng brake, 
Ayun, may skid mark pa rin mahaba. Ibig sabihin, mabilis ka. Okay? Skid mark. Then, the reaction time. The distance travel before applying the brake. Okay. Lalo sa mga collision, sa accident, nung nakita mo na, na magkakaroon ng collision, mababangga ka na, doon yung reaction time mo. Magpipreno ba ako? Or, iibahin ko ba yung lane ko? Iiwasan ko ba? O tutumbukin ko na? Okay, that's the distance travel before applying the brakes. Then we have the word taras. Hindi ito yung tara na tinatarahan ka. <laughs> Tara-tara. Sa police uh, work, uso yung tara-tara na yan. But tara has a different meaning. Traffic accident recording analysis system or sa source of information about traffic accident in the Philippines. Yan yung uh, nakalagay yung mga lahat na nangyaring vehicle accidents accidents on the roadways okay mga vehicle accidents natin okay so that's all we must be familiar with those terms marami pa yan basa lang kayo ng basa those are some terms na lumalabas sa board exam lalo lalo tong traffic unit sa traffic way traffic unit mga pedestrians or vehicles on the roadways traffic ways yan yung mga traffic ways natin mga tinadaanan ng sasakyan at mga pedestrians Okay, last. Ito na yung mga last natin. 23 to 1. Answeran lang natin. Okay. Questions lang muna tayo. Matatapos na tayo. Okay, question number 23. Up to 30 lang ito eh. A license operator of a motor vehicle. Sino daw yan? Pag sinabing license operator of a motor vehicle. Pag lisensyado ko, anong tawag sa'yo? It's a technical term. Anong tawag ito? License operator. Anong tawag yan? Anong tawag sa iyo? Pwede ka bang tawaging rider? Pwede ka bang tawaging commuter? Ikaw ba yung tinatawag na passenger? Or ano ka? Ikaw ba yung tinatawag na driver? Ano mga kaamisay? If you are a licensed operator of a motor vehicle, ano tawag sa iyo? <laughs> driver daw, driver, driver. Okay. Driver is a sweet lover, no? Driver is a licensed operator of a motor vehicle. Yan yun. Licensed operator. So, ibig sabihin, lisensyado. So, ibig sabihin, licensed driver is a licensed dri uh, lover. Pwede pala yun? <laughs> Because a driver is a licensed operator of a vehicle. Now, sabi nila, driver is a sweet lover. So, driver is a license. Driver. Okay, driver. Very good. Driver, driver. Okay, driver. It's not rider because a rider is a driver. Pero yung rider, more on sa mga motorcycle. Commuter. Ay, yun naman, nagko-commute. Okay. Nagko-commute yung mga sumasakay sa mga pampasahero natin commuter tawag doon. Pero pag passenger, either you are a commuter, a public commuter, or a, passenger, uh, a private commuter. Okay. Letter D. The holder of this kind of license is allowed to drive his vehicle or any privately owned vehicle only. Ang kailangan, ang pwede lang mo lang i-drive E private? O yung sarili mo? Anong klaseng driver yan? Anong, anong klaseng license holder yan? Anong klaseng lisensya? Ang hawak niya? Okay. Anong klase? Ano siya? Anong klase siya? Na license holder? Is he a professional license holder? A non-professional license holder? A military license holder? international license holder. You choose. Sabi niya, private lang, sir. Ang pwede yung i-drive. Yung sarili yung sasakyan or mga privately owned na vehicle. Ano ka? Oh, non-pro daw. Non-pro. Tama. It's a non-pro. Non-professional. Sabi natin, if you are a holder of non-professional, hindi ka pwedeng mag-drive or hindi mo pwedeng pagkakitaan 
yung skill mo sa driver. Bakit? Ang lisensya mo, nan pro lang. Kung gusto mong gamitin yung lisensya mo to earn a living, eh kumuha ka ng professional driver's license. Okay. Kung hindi ka naman membro ng military, ng Armed Forces of the Philippines, at hindi ka nagda-drive ng military truck, eh hindi yung military driver's license yan. Or, mas more, hindi international driver's license sa mo. Okay? Question, letter B. O, question number 25. Public utility motor vehicle plates can be described as Paano natin daw i-describe yung mga plate number ng public utility motor vehicles? Okay. Ano description ng mga plate number niyan? Ano? I-describe nyo ninyo mga kaamisay? Okay? Kaya ba ninyong i-describe? Is it a white background with green markings? Pag public utility motor vehicle yan? Plate? Is it a yellow background with black markings? Yellow ba yan? Uh, dilawan ka ba? Okay. White background with red markings? Baka Duterte ka ba? Eh tama-tama. Pag baka Duterte ka, maka gobyerno ka. Okay. Gobyerno ba? Or a white background with blue markings? A diplomat ka ba? Blue yan ni, eh. O saan dyan? O, dilawan siguro kayo. Tingnan natin. Dilawan ba? Letter B. Yellow background. Pag public utility, utility motor vehicle. B. Sabi ni Sir Angelo. Yellow background. Sabi ni Ma'am Samantha. Sir Gary. Letter B. May sumagot. Letter A. Sir Daryl. Okay. Tingnan natin kung sinong tama. Sir. Kahit Yoko sa dilawan, sabi ni Sir Don, Preses, letter B daw ang sir niya. Tama! Kung yun yung tamang sa... Para sa board exam, eh kahit ayaw mo sa dilawan, dilawan ka. Yun ang tamang sagot. Hindi porke... Uh, hindi ka dilawan... Ay, dilawan ka? Ay, hindi ka dilawan? Ay, ayaw mo sa dilawan. Yellow yan. Kaya nakikita natin, yellow, yellow. Okay. Letter B. Okay, last. Four questions. Apat na lang ito mga kamisay. Nagpapahinga na tayo. Apat na lang. Apat na lang. He has the right to be transported safely from one point of origin to the point of destination. May karapatan daw siya na dapat. Dalhin mo ako. From my point of origin to the point of destination, na safe. Ano ka? Anong tawag natin sa kanya? Sa term yan? Ano, sino siya? Sino tong tao na to? Anong klase siya? Sige, sagutin nga ninyo. Oh, may sumagot. Passenger, passenger. Very good. Tignan natin nasa ng passenger. Letter C. Pero ang pagpipilian, pedestrian. Medyo pagka hindi ka nag-review, ako oh, nga, no, pedestrian nata to. Traveler? O oh, pwede rin traveler, nagtatravel siya eh. Di ba? Backrider? Eh pwede rin. Dapat madala mo rin yung backride mo doon sa, oh, na safe. Pero ang tamang term dyan is passenger, pasahero, letter C, letter C. Okay, letter C. Okay, ito na, malapit na tayong matapos. <laughs> Ibuhos na ninyo. Tapusin na ninyo to. Baka isa rito ang lalabas sa board exam. If the plate has a white background with blue markings. Blue. Blue ang markings naman. Then it is a... Ano? <laughs> sabi, ni, sabi ni Don, galing mo magturo sir. Feeling ko talino ko dito. Galing mo talaga sumagot. Okay. Paturo-turo lang naman ako eh. Okay. Yan. Okay. okay, 27. If the plate has a white background with a blue marking, so dapat... Government is red. Government yun ah. Plug yellow, pampasayro yan. Eh paano pag blue? Paano pag blue? Ah, mag-isip ka na. 
pag-aari yan ng foreign government. Ano yan? Diplomatic daw. Diplomat, tama ba? Private ba? No. Sorry, Sir Henrik, hindi private. Okay. Diplomatic ba? Diplomatic? Diplomatic? Okay. Hanapin natin na sa diplomatic. Ayun, letter B. Diplomatic vehicle. Bakit? Yan ang sagot. Letter B. Yung government is red. Yung private motor vehicle, white background or green, kung hindi pa nagpapalit, yung public utility motor vehicle, okay, yun yung yellow. Okay, yellow yan. Okay, and the correct answer is letter B. Very good. Diplomatic. Diplomatic. Sorry, Sir Henrik. Better luck next time. Not private. Okay. Pero alam ko, pag ito tinanong sa board, by the next board examination, alam mo nang sagot kasi dito ka nagkamali. Pag nagkamali ka sa tamang tao, next time, alam mo na yung tamang taong pupuntahan mo. Ganon din sa board. Pag nagkamali ka ngayon, sa tanong na yan, pagdating ng board, ah, dito ako nagkamali. Dapat tama na yung sagot ko rito. Okay. 27. 28. Last two. Ito na. Stock knowledge ito eh. Sige nga, kung may stock knowledge kayo. Sige nga. Ito, topic na uh, nabasa natin to kanina doon sa pinakauna. Introduction pa lang saan nang galing yung word na traffic. Sige nga, sinong magaling dito? Sinong magaling dito? It is a Greco-Roman word which refers to the movement of people. Ang tawag sa mga tanong na to, ganito, objective question, stock knowledge. Pag hindi mo talaga alam to, ay eh wala ka, hindi mo alam eh. Pag hindi mo alam ito, yung tendency mo, manghula ka. Hula-hula ka na lang. Or yung, ah, saan dito ang sagot? Yan. Kung saan yung huling tuldok mo, yun na yan. Hula nga eh. Pero kung alam mo to, ano yan? Trapiko. Trapiko sa tiyara. <laughs> yan, Rico, di ko na nabutan. Na. Hindi. O yun nga, dapat nga mag-review kayo. Mag-enroll kayo sa kami sa review center. Andun sa unahan yan kanina. Ano? Anong tamang sagot diyan? Ha? Anda? Trafigra. Ha? <laughs> Trapiko. Ano ba ya? Trafalgar. Ano? Tingnan natin asan ba diyan? Trafikel. Trafiko. Tingnan natin. Trafigra. Trafalgar asan diyan? Trafiko. <laughs> Bakit? Bisaya, ba kayo bat may eh? Trafiko. May trapisyo. <laughs> okay. Asan? O, saan ang tamang sagot dyan, mga kaamisay? O, kung nabutan lang sana ninyo, asan? Letter B. Tingnan na, letter B. Tingnan natin. Let us check para matapos na tayo. Letter B ba? Very good. It's letter B. Trafiko. Diyan daw isang Greco-Roman word na dyan ng the word traffic yan ang galing yung word eh napakasimple nito kaya dapat tapusin nyo yung exam okay huwag kayo maabutan ng oras okay pag nabutan kayo ng oras sabi pass your paper finish or not finish ha eh sayang kahit napakasimpleng sagot sana okay sayang yung makukuha mo nito pag hindi whistle signals for stop o ilan daw yan Ilan daw yung stop? Stop! Yan. Sabi ni Duterte, stop! I hate drugs. Uh, one blast ba? Ilang blast ba yan? <makes noise> mahaba! Pero ilan? Ilang mahaba? Ha? Huh? Okay, ilan mahaba? Okay, four short whistle ba? Three long whistles, two short whistles, or one long whistle, one long blast. San, san yan. Very good. Sir Namsug. Ah, jo, jo, Jonar Guzman. Anong tama sagot? Okay, very good. Letter D. One long whistle. Ang haba ng, ng natin ha. 
Kamang tama, alas gis na. Yan ang review. Okay, medyo inaantok na tayo. And the last is, ito na, pinakauli. Todo na ninyo ito, papayin na tayo. This includes all highways, or traffic ways, and it also includes some areas on private property. Anong tawag dyan? Highways, traffic ways, ano yan? Anong tawag nyo dyan? Sige nga. Includes all highways. Anong tawag dyan? Sige nga. Ano, mga kaamisay? Ano to? Ano tong term na to? Wala na. Wala na sumasagot. Tulog na ba kayo? Ah, pag patulog-tulog kayo, hindi kayo magiging criminologist. Dapat yung last question na to, dapat alam nyo to. Ano to? Ha? Okay. The choices for this last question is are pala, kakamali na tayo, traffic elements, traffic units, traffic <laughs> road. Okay? Traffic area. Oh, very good. Si Sir Jefferson. Sabi niya, Sir, traffic unit yan. May sumagot na road. Okay. Uh, alam nyo, this is now your road to success. Mag-enroll kayo sa Amisai. Dahil dito kahit pagbibigyan namin kayo ng tamang, tamang, tamang review. Okay? We will guide you. We will give you the edge to pass the board examination. Okay? Magiging, yung dream nyo na magiging registered criminologist, matutupad nyo yan. Ang sarap maging registered criminologist na lagay mo sa pangalan mo. Katulad ng... Kaibigan ko, ang hilig niya maglagay. Okay. Ar cream. Sarap ilagay. Ar cream. Ice cream. Ar cream. Pero dapat pumasa muna kayo sa board. Okay. Letter B daw, traffic unit. Ang daming letter B, letter C, kokontrahan. Ano ba? Traffic unit ba o traffic way? Or traffic area or traffic element? Ito yung question na halos pag hindi ka... Kung, Halos pare-parehas, halos tama lahat. Pero isa lang dyan ang tama. At ang tamang review center, yung Amisai. Review center. <laughs> Mag-enroll na kayo. Okay. Alamin na ba natin ang tamang sagot? Kami ba yung tamang tao na magre-review sa inyo? Mag-enroll na kayo. Okay. Ang tamang sagot ay traffic. Traffic way ba? Tama ba yan? Ha? Traffic way? <laughs> si talaga sir, sabi niya. Si Don. Traffic way ba? This includes all highways are traffic ways and it also includes some areas on private. Yes, it's a view center is the way the truth <laughs> and the life. Okay. Mag-review na kayo dito sa art. Ito ang bibigay. So, mag-enroll ba kayo? It is a traffic way. Amisai Review Center is the way, the, the truth, huh? and the means for you to pass the board examination. My name is Airport Police Lieutenant Jesus Dukusin. Swerte ninyo rito. Kung dito kayo mag-enroll, may Jesus kayo. Ha? Kay Jesus, ibibigay niya sa inyo kung ano yung hinihiling niyo. Okay? Sabi ko nga kanina, sa pagre-review, magdasal kayo. You just pray. Hindi naman yung pray, 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 pray na lang yung gagawin nyo. Wala nang review, review, review. No. Mas maganda, kahit isang pray lang yan, basta maraming Review, 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 review. At ang tamang review center ay ang Amisai Review Center. Okay? Online. Kung walang Amisai dyan, online review center. Online nito. Online. Magtanong mag, uh, lang kayo kay Attorney uh, Jay Ferraro. Online po ito. Dry, uh, kay Daryl, driver yun. Driver yun. Tama sagot. Kay Daryl. <laughs> okay. So, 
So next time, makita-kita ulit tayo. So ang hawak ko rito as a reviewer ay yung CDI, either sa criminal investigation, at saka sa pangalan ito, sa, ito, sa traffic uh, management investigation. Maraming next time, traffic investigation tayo. Ngayon, itong traffic management na tayo. And sa mga nanonood, pwede ba ninyo akong i-follow sa aking uh, uh, YouTube channel? May maliit akong YouTube channel. Nag-review ako doon, nag-discuss. Doon ko nilalagay yung parang mga buhay ng isang criminologist sa aking trabaho. Mga, may mga videos tayo doon, lecture videos. Yung Criminology Students Corner. I-search nyo sa... sa YouTube, mayroon akong uh, maliit na channel, more or less 2,000 subscribers. Baka sa tulong niyo maging 2,000 na. Ha? Please, subscribe niyo ako. Marami tayong matututunan doon. Nag-discuss ako about laws. Okay, graduate din kasi ako ng uh, Bachelor of Laws. Aside from my being a, criminology, a criminologist. So, please... Hingi ako ng permiso kay Atty. J. Piraro. I-post ko lang yung YouTube channel natin, Criminology Students Corner. Then harapin na rin ninyo yung YouTube channel ni Atty. J. Atty. J. J. M. F. Okay. J. M. F. J. M. Piraro. Sa YouTube. So i-subscribe na rin po natin. Okay. So that's all, my Ramisai. Thank you so much. See you next time. So good evening and be safe always. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Dream, tapos na. Pano yung kwento? Ha? San? Okay. Salita yung service mo. Please like and share. Stop sharing. Ayan. End na po natin.